Yo, you tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. Get low, 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 get get Yo, what's up and welcome to another episode of Unnamed Sports Show right here on Gorilla Cross Radio. I'm your host, Quan59, and we got a big show for you today. The NFL is back. I'm excited. You should be excited. August is a rough rough month, so uh, we talked about that a little bit on Monday. But September's here. The weather's cooling down a little bit. Project Neon is still in full effect for one of us. So full. So full. Um, We're going to be talking about the game tonight, Eagles versus the Falcons. We're going to be talking about Nick Foles uh, being the starter for week one. Uh, Le'Veon Bell still hasn't signed or shown up for the Steelers. A lot of the players are mad. We're going to be talking about that. The Nike ad outrage, and they're going to be playing it tonight on the NFL game on NBC. Uh, So we're going to be talking about that. Uh, The memes, they have to stop. Stop the memes. You guys are killing me. Straight out of something. (laughs) Um, They're funny. No, they, they, <laughs> they, they were the for 30 seconds. were funny. Oh, no, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, so we have a little bit of baseball talk. The playoffs are coming up soon. And uh, your boy, um, Tommy John surgery for, I'm going to say his name right. Shohei Otani. Okay. Or you can say his name right. <laughs> that, that was a pregnant pause. We got we to gotta get through that. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that uh, and more right here on Unnamed Sports Show. Uh, If you're watching live on Facebook, please share the Facebook live post. If you're listening live on the app, thank you for that. And uh, let people know we are live on the air right now. If you missed the live show, uh, you can subscribe to all of our YouTube, uh, uh, all of our shows on YouTube. And just download the Gorilla Cross app. That's a one-stop shop for everything. Uh, Check it out on GorillaCross.com. You can download that for free all the time. Listen, we have new shows coming up. We had Let the Ball Bounce on Monday. They had their first show. Um, on Gorilla Cross Radio, and it went really well. Uh, So, yo, for real, make sure you check out all the shows that we're doing here on Gorilla Cross Radio. We have a lot of stuff coming up this season, and uh, I'm excited about it, and I really hope everyone else is is excited about it too. Um, My man, Hollywood Huff in the building. What's good? Ah, living the dream. Uh, Glad to be here and out of the house. Yeah, you Um, haven't haven't been here for a while. We took a whole month off. And then we were doing shows on days that you had to work. And then you quit your job. You're like, man, I can't do this no more. I'm going into full-time radio. Well, I don't know if quit is the right word, but yeah. I uh, was given the opportunity to seek employment at another place. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, just in, <laughs> we got just in time Project Neon, Josh Williams in the building, wearing the Redskins two days in a row. Two, well, two shows. Two shows in a row. I mean, hey, those look, are days. It's, 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 fo- <laughs> it's days in our world. That's true. Uh, it's football season. So, uh, yeah, for the first, in, until the Redskins start looking like the Redskins, I, I'll continue to, uh, to rock the burgundy. I thought we were calling them the Washington football team. But uh, Death Star <laughs> Dave in the building who loves everything about the Redskins. Oh, yeah. So much. Uh, is it is it too late to change my MVP pick? No, I mean, we can. Because I'm going to need to. Hey, it's, it's still the beginning of the season, so uh, it who, hasn't started yet. Who did they, Who did you pick? I picked Le'Veon Bell. Bell. Oh. You did? You did. Yes, I did. did. Wow. <laughs> May need to correct that one. Wow. You did say that. That's true. Yeah, I'm not sure that's happening, Dave. Yeah, it's, uh, well, there was a thought process. Thought. It's still a chance. Bleak he, he might only miss one week, yeah, or exactly. he might get traded. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but... uh. To, to, to kick off the show, uh, we're going to be talking about tonight's game, opening game, the Eagles versus the Falcons. Nick Foles gets a star for week one. Uh, Carson Wentz still is, is injured, so you know he's not clear medically necessarily to play yet. Um, so with Nick Foles starting, 
preseason we talked about it. He didn't. They didn't score a, a offensive point with him on the field. Is that a big deal? I don't necessarily think it is because it's preseason. I don't care about that. Tonight, if he shows out, let, let's, say, let's say Carson Wentz isn't available for the first four weeks. If Nick Foles plays like the Super Bowl MVP Nick Foles, what happens? Is there a quarterback controversy when Wentz comes back? No. No, no chance. We Josh. talked about this. Yeah, no. I, I don't believe this. I don't believe that's the case at all. I think Nick Foles had the luckiest games of his life. But 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 that's the thing. You said you said no because you don't think Nick Foles is going to be good. Correct. I'm saying what if he is Super Bowl MVP good? Carson Wentz I think was still better. What's what's his ceiling? That's the real key. Yeah. Is you know what I mean, if you're talking Nick Foles I don't remember how old he is, but I know he's 30 plus at this point. Uh so for him to be that old whereas Carson Wentz is 23, 24, his ceiling is already still so much higher than what Nick Foles is going to yeah. give you for potentially three years, maybe four. Like, I, I, yeah, no. Still no. Well, I think you also have to remember, too, Nick Foles was there with a really healthy team. Carson Wentz is good enough if the team has injuries or there's other problems going on that he True. can make up for it, whereas Nick Foles needs everything to be exactly right. Yeah. Your margin of error for Nick Foles is... Zero. Your margin error for Carson Wentz is a lot bigger. Is a margin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. a margin. He, he he needs to be there. Look, uh, you know, you're not going to have two weeks to prepare for every every opponent either. Yeah. He had two weeks to prepare for the biggest game of his life, and he played like he had two weeks. Well, to I mean, prepare. he even got him to the Super Bowl, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, he did. He did. Um, he did. So I mean, I, I feel I feel like for Nick Foles, I think you guys are right. I don't think there's any chance once Carson Wentz is is 100 percent or honestly even 90 percent uh, that he's not going to be the starter again. Um, I think what Nick Foles has to do is play for a contract, a trade. You know, if he plays really well, and let's say Carson Wentz comes back in week three or four, um, and and a quarterback goes down in the league, uh, Nick Foles is is going to be the one people are looking at. Like, hey, yeah. we, we need a good quarterback. We need somebody that 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 can at least hold their own. Um, and I think that's kind of what he needs to play for right now. Um, he's not playing for a starting job with the Eagles. Uh, Steve, what do you think? What I hope and what I think, um, what I hope is that if if Nick don't Foles, add questions to my <laughs> questions, Steve. No, go ahead. If if Nick Foles is winning, I hope he keeps the spot. I hate when somebody goes down, then you put a guy in, and that guy is winning, yeah. and then he has to give up his spot. It's it's one of the things I hate about football. Mm. Um, but I mean, Tom Brady ha has I mean, a career because well, of that, right? It, that and that's that's kind of my point. Is yeah. very true. Is that there there are uh, there's a handful of quarterbacks who actually have a career because somebody got injured. Yeah. And they came in, they did the job, and they kept doing the job. And and that's my thing with with all the the pieces that are so vital in football, especially at quarterback. If a guy comes in and everything is clicking, why change that just for the sake of this other guy giving this other guy his yeah. job back? Like I mean, it sucks that Carson Wentz went out the way he did right before the playoffs, yeah. and then you put in Nick Foles, and Nick Foles wins all the playoff games and the Super Bowl. Now he has a statue, so, <laughs> right? And so, <laughs> and so now, I mean, it it sucks, but that's the nature of the beast. I mean, don't get injured. How about that? I mean, if I mean, obviously some things are out of their control, but but still, you know, when when Nick Foles is in, and so far he hasn't lost a game because preseason games don't count, but. Um, he hasn't lost a game. Keep him in and let him keep well, playing. No, now he, he lost he, at the end of the season. Well, didn't lose in the playoffs. Yeah, but the games that mattered. You know what right. I mean? No, nobody's going to be undefeated in football anymore. Well, um, well, there was one team that Jimmy Garoppolo almost, has not lost an NFL game. His time as is a coming. Starter, so his I, time, it's Sunday. Trust his me, time yeah, his time on, is it, coming. Like his, his moment is at hand, sir. I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll somebody see, shot. You know, somebody kicked one field goal and they have a hundred percent field goal rating retired. Like I'm pretty sure we can find that guy. But <laughs> I mean, it's you know, I th I think that I think that probably Wentz will come back. I think that eventually Foles will go back to the bench, and at that time, hopefully. He's either happy there or he's done enough that other teams say, okay, we should give this guy a job. Well, what I, what I will say to that end, um, I don't remember the, uh, the contract kickers that are in, you know, he has, he has some basically some parameters in his contract that if he plays a certain amount of games or a certain amount of snaps, uh -huh. he basically his, his deal turns into a starter level deal. Yeah. Um, because that was the whole reason why he even like basically they had to redo his contract because if he didn't get traded 
if he was on their active roster, I think he was getting like fifteen million this year or something crazy. So they had to redo his ro- his his contract to keep him happy, but then also save themselves under the cap because of the injury. Um, so if he plays till week four, yeah, I don't know what that means in terms of contractually because he actually could be getting paid. So he should be fine either way. Yeah, I'm not crying for him. Yeah. Huh. All right, so going to the game tonight, uh, we got the Eagles versus the Falcons. Um, and you can kind of look at the quarterback matchup on this game, too, and, and you might be able to pick what some might say is the upset. But, you know, you, you look at the Falcons. They were in the Super Bowl two, two years. years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, they were the runner-up, should have won that game. We won't talk about that anymore. Um, you know, and then you got the Eagles, who were coming off a Super Bowl win. Um, you know, Thursday night game, There, there's – I wouldn't say a lot of pressure on them right now, but there is some type of pressure with Nick Foles. You know, I mean, he wants to prove himself. Um, so who do, who do you guys got for this game? How's this season going to kick off? And, and, I mean, we saw last year Patriots lost week one. Everyone, you know, the outrage, and we'll talk about that next Monday, uh, you know, week one outrage the where, where everything's overdone. But uh, who, who do you guys got for tonight's game? Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to – take the team that without some stupid play calling should have won their playoff game. I'm, I think the Falcons can, can beat them on this week one. I don't actually think Nick Foles is good. I think it was a Joe Flacco type run where everything broke correctly. Yeah. And that they had the extreme luck of getting in the Super Bowl against a Patriots team. That's defense was awful. It was a terrible defense yeah. all year. So I don't, I don't know how much it means. It's like they should have lost that game, and then Minnesota fell apart the next week, mm-hmm. and then they get a terrible Patriots defense. So I, I, I'm not a Nick Foles believer in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I would I would say the Falcons have a little bit more to prove on that. I mean, normally, historically, most of the champions win on that first night, but just last year they didn't. So yeah. we'll see. Hmm. Yep. Um, and Steve, like I said, man, it's, it's Nick Foles versus Matt Ryan. I mean, that's... When all. you look at that matchup, it's a little bit different. Yeah. And because of that is why I'm going with the Falcons. Um I think, you know, going going into the going into the playoffs and the Super Bowl, your mindset is different than it is throughout the regular season. With that being said, it's not just Nick Foles, but I don't think the entire Philadelphia Eagles franchise has the same mindset. I think at this point. They're cruising in a Cadillac. You know, they're they they are the champions and I, I'm not sure that they come down, you know, high from that yet. Where the Falcons, I think the Falcons overall have better pieces that'll be on the field. And their entire franchise the past couple years has taken some lumps yeah. in the playoffs or the, the the Super Bowl. And they got something to prove. I think they want to make more of a statement than the Eagles probably do. So I'm I'm taking the Falcons. All right. Yeah. Just in time. <laughs> so, so we're doing our survivor picks now. No, oh, no, no just, just tonight's pick. Pick right. tonight's game. Okay. All right. Just, just wanted to clarify. You make can't sure. keep changing the rules for us, survivor. Yeah, hey, hey, you know what I mean? I just got to make sure we're good. Uh, just the simple fact that these two guys both went with Atlanta. I guess I have to pick the Eagles. Um, just from the simple fact, like Dave said, you know, a lot of times these games are more catered towards. Uh, you know, that champion winning. Yeah. Uh, with them getting their rings tonight, with Desiree in the building, Desiree is like 5-0. and oh, So, I can't – I can't. Really? Shake. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Every game, she she kept flying back, but they kept winning. She said she's taking us to pizza, too. Yeah, I know. I know. That was that was actually meant for me. So. No, she said us. I know. And then I saw that and was like, for real? Like, I mean, she bro, owes me money. It's, it's hard being me. Yeah, wow. I know. You just, you just like, I get, just get, along. A, get a free meal. Third wheel. Yeah. Easy rat. Anyway <laughs> – I'll but, be uh, I'll be a third pizza wheel <laughs> anytime. Be, be Happy pizza National wheel. Pizza uh, Cheese Pizza Day yesterday, by the way. Go ahead. How and why do you know that? People know just way too many about the different days. But anyway, before I get the new <laughs> yeah, turn right. chain, um, I'll, yeah, I, I'm just gonna go with the Eagles. All right, and I'm actually going with the Eagles too. Um, I think Nick Foles is gonna have a good game. Uh, Matt Ryan, I think he's gonna have a huge game, but I I, I think it's gonna be close. Uh, what is the spread on that? Does anybody have that up? I think the spread the last I heard was around, it wasn't even like a full three. Like two? Yeah. It was like two, was, two okay. and a half, which is strange because oh, uh, for Philly, a game, Philly, usually... Philly minus one. Oh, wow. It's it's wow. really getting. Yeah, so it's going. That's a pickle. So it's almost, yeah, exactly. <laughs> sharp, it's almost sharp bettors are on something. So. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so I, I, I'm going to go with Philly also. Um, like you said, they're at home. It's 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 their celebration for the Super Bowl, pretty much. You know. Yeah. Um, Wait, haven't they had enough celebration? The the Philadelphia fans they went too far. I know we covered this yeah. already, but yeah, they they, they lost their minds. They they took it like wor- more than anybody else. Like so, what happens if they happened. lose tonight? Oh, oh with the Philly right. fans, they'll go back to being Philly fans. They booed. They booed Santa. I, I don't. They I booed don't, Santa oh, Claus. They'll they'll, but, they'll be trying to. If Nick Foles has a bad game. They'll be like Carson Wentz needs to get back in there right now. They'll turn on him so fast. I, I don't know because look, I, look. I'll say this, and the reason I say we don't know is simply because they've always been Philly fans. They were beleaguered Philly fans. They were always people that you know they never actually got what they needed they 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 always acted like champions but weren't champions so the simple fact that they're champions now um i told desiree i was like look i can say congratulations on the super bowl for one last night and then it's back to the regular schedule yeah. programming so we'll see we'll see I, I mean i think uh to dave's point though you know and to your point they did they did uh they did boo and throw batteries at santa claus so i mean anything well, is possible <laughs> at the, with these people with philly anything <laughs> is possible <laughs> Wow. Real talk. All right. Um, and, 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 you know, w- I know we gave our predictions on uh, Monday. Uh, Steve wasn't here. What are your predictions for Philly and for Atlanta um, this for the year? season? Yeah. Steve, go for ahead. We'll Philly and you. Atlanta? I think Atlanta is definitely back in the playoffs. Um, there's nothing stopping that there. Philly made a lot of changes. I think they're going to keep making a lot of changes. Um, I honestly – and this is sad, but I guess it's common. I don't think they're going to the playoffs this year. Um, oh, they, okay. they, they, if I, Foles, Foles did great. I don't think Foles is as bad as most people say, but I also, I, I'm not making a statue out of Foles either. Um, they did. I, I think that, yeah, I think that <laughs> Foles, I don't think Foles is the guy that can for 16 weeks, you know, pound it out and get you to the playoffs or a Super Bowl by himself. I True. think he was fortunate to, be well rested by the time Wentz went down. Yeah. Um, so if Wentz comes back, um, even if Foles, no matter, regardless of how, what position Foles leaves them in, when Wentz comes back, um, that's a huge change, changing the quarterback. Um, that means the entire team has to adjust, yeah. not just the quarterback. Uh, in that situation, if they make the playoffs, I see a very early exit. Like, All right, and real quick, with, yeah. with, with them not making the playoffs, because Dave actually brought up this point when I said Philly – might not win that division. And then Dave brought up the point, who is going to win that division? The Dallas Cowboys, New York Giants, Washington Redskins. I mean, when you, when you look at their division. <laughs> They're in the playoffs. I mean, <laughs> when you look at their division, they, was, they that, are that the be my best team in the division. They could have a fall off. Um, How many, did they win 14 last year? How many wins? They, they won a lot. 13? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, so, yeah, I they mean, were look, on pace for, e- for better, e- but they even, even if they down, yeah. Even if they, you know, fall down what two games and get down to 11 or 10 they're still in the playoffs and they're still probably right there at champions of the nfc east so you know yeah they, i mean saying. depending on who they play in the playoffs i mean i i think i think if they have um well i don't want to do playoff yeah, matchups yeah, yeah i mean that, that's, that's a lot of things happen happen last just year. will they make the playoffs <laughs> and, yeah. and what do you think about uh atlanta um i think atlanta is is, is Honestly, I feel like they're right where they were last year. Uh, NFC South. Like, I mean, this this is like a really this yeah. is a really good division. I mean, you got the Saints, the Buccaneers, the Falcons, we'll and, and the Panthers. Out, but well, yeah, th- it's three team race. They'll 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 beat they'll beat the Bucks, um, the Saints, uh, um, ah, quarterback. What's uh, Drew, Brees. Drew Brees? Drew Brees. Drew Brees is getting old. Um, well, Drew, Drew Brees, Brees has been old for five years now, but <laughs> at some point, Drew Brees has to not be able to do Drew Brees stuff anymore. So we say that every year. Th- I know, I know, I know that he's the, he is literally the Spurs of the NFL. Like this yeah. dude is just he won't get old and and be and done. Die. But <laughs> yeah, but but I think. All right, Josh, who do you think wins that yeah. division? Uh, I, the uh, the NFC South. The South, yeah. Um, you know, the NFC South is definitely the hardest, probably of almost any division in the league, just because it's who d- who decides to be who they want to be that year. Right. You know, you go back three years, and the Panthers are. Yeah, the, the next coming of something big, and then they've had two down years. So, um, you know, I think the Saints probably of all the teams are uh, maybe not necessarily the weakest, but they they need more things to break right 
yeah. than the other teams. Um, you know, to Steve's point, Drew Brees is getting older, but last year. But you year can't we ever saw, count them out. I well, mean, but, it's, but yeah. we saw last year they started running the ball more. Yep. They started protecting him more. He wasn't just going, dropping back, yeah. you know, throwing 50 times a game. Um, I think the Falcons, uh, the Falcons just are who we think they are. And I think that when it comes down to it, Matt Ryan just, he's just a very good quarterback. Yeah. So he needs the most, I think, of any of those two because he he's just good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um I think uh I think I'd probably go with the Panthers, but I Now you know, Panthers were in the Super Bowl three years ago, right? Yeah, it was three years. Yeah, so mm-hmm. they had two years in a row where the NFC where, South took somebody to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um Yeah. Dave, who who do you got? Uh, in that division, I think the other day I, I picked Saints and Falcons to both make the playoffs. Yeah. I, I really do think that's a that's a three team race. One's going to be just outside the playoffs, and two will get in. So ne- none of those teams, I think, are going to have a fantastic record. I think mm. you're you're looking around ten wins, maybe eleven wins yeah. maximum. Slugfest. Yeah. But I mean, you also remember they're they're each of them is getting two wins off of Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. I mean, yeah. so you don't think Tampa could do anything? I mean, no. Win- Winston's out for how long? Three four. games. Three games. Three or four. Three. Three. Or Three? Four. Okay. Hmm. Um. So I mean that that's a big deal to start off the season yeah. without your starting quarterback. Um, but then even when he comes back, what's his m- mental going to be? He's you not know? good anyway. Jameis uh, Winston is bad. He's all right. He's good. I mean, uh, he's... look at the numbers. Jameis is bad. He will uh, always be bad. <laughs> I can't. Even, I mean, I can't. Player. I can't even argue right here. And like, a terrible I mean, person. <laughs> Let's just stack it up. Wow. <laughs> terrible football player. Terrible person. <laughs> Hey, he's not. He's Am not, I wrong he's, on either? He's, he's not. He's not winning any championships on uh, being a great, great humanitarian. And he ain't gonna that. win any championships playing football either. <laughs> he, won, he won his one in college. He, he won his one. That's gonna be it. His cam. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe he'll get lucky and be a backup for somebody somewhere. His best days are behind him. <laughs> That's true. Wow. wow. All right. So make sure you tune into the game tonight um, and see if our predictions are right. I know mine's gonna be. Uh, so I'm excited, man. I'm excited to have football back. I'm hyped up about that. Uh, like we said, man, August is a rough month. I know, you know, there's a lot of baseball fans out there. Tell me it's not <laughs> rough. I mean, not all of us could travel travel every week to a different city with the big three, but Josh. It's not rough. It is rough. You've got, let's see. You've got baseball. The, you've got the... Uh, and it's not even like the good part of baseball. The good part of baseball <laughs> starts now. Got the PGA Championship. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what else in August. Say a WNBA playoffs, which no. actually have been really good. No, no, no. I'm I'm not claiming the WNBA playoff, but I've yeah, liked they, that much more than baseball. That's just yeah. you just really it's been hate good. Baseball. It's actually been really good in the playoffs. You I've really watched some baseball. games. I mean, we gonna talk about my Mystics? Or we just gonna, we gonna we can talk about out. the Mystics. Congratulations to the Mystics. Yeah, We've there we go. About it. WNBA done. There we go. <laughs> Del done. Del done. Del Dunna. <laughs> Del Del Adon. She's good though. She can play. Lena is a problem. All right. Oh, Chain's oh, about to come out. Wait, 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 oh. wait. No, I, I will say I meant to I meant to actually text this to you. This is two times it's Texas. come up. Text text this to you. It's two times it's come up in like the last two or three weeks. Um, people have been bringing up to me like they don't feel like a WNBA team could beat like a high level uh high school team, like a Finley Prep or a like, you know, and I feel like the WNBA team could, but my my guy Brian yesterday, he's oh sorry, he said use him as a source. Uh he <laughs> said he was saying he was saying he like he literally was like, No, there's no way. There's no way possible. So, Bro. I'll I'll we can we maybe can dive into that can, another can, show. I I, I have one quick question just to not to not make this a are, are, are you using a regular ball or that's and that was ball. that was that was my yeah, thing the ball's too. Smaller. I think I, I can't shoot with a woman's ball. Yeah, it's tough. It is very tough. It takes it takes it takes some adjustment for sure. They can't even shoot with the ladies. But ball. I mean, high school boys, they can't really shoot. Period. Not and, not on a professional level. And There's so this difference. is, I this is coming from not In somebody who just is judging WNBA from the stands, but someone who has seen high level college women basketball players up close and personal. They would destroy. A high level high school boys team. That's what I feel. The competition is only at their age. And I and and I and I think it's this dominant. Like I think that if you got the best college basketball women who were seniors and they played against the best male freshmen, that game is still an edge to those women. Like that's how good they are. I look. Y- 
I, I trust Ooh, me. Yeah. I, think, I think that's dice here because then you're talking about all the best, most. This talented is players. this is what I'm saying. If they played, if they played a hundred games, the women will win at least sixty. In, okay. the, in that scenario I just gave. In the scenario I just gave. Well, well okay. This, this, this is what so I against this, high schoolers, the women win like ninety. Well, this this you, you this, this is what I think. Yo, you tuned in the Gorilla Cross Radio. We'll, we'll, we'll come back I have to no it. idea why we're talking about the <laughs> WNBA during the <laughs> hey, NFL hey, segment. Hey, you we'll started come, that. We'll come. I said we'll move on and come <laughs> back to it. Yeah. But we'll it's all right. We'll one. come. We, we can yeah. maybe maybe another episode. Definitely another episode. There you go. Um. All right. Now, uh, Le'Veon <laughs> Bell. Um. Crazy news hasn't shown up. That to me is not even the craziest news. Nope. The craziest news is that a lot of his players, a lot of his offensive linemen, are not happy about him not showing up. They all thought he was showing up yesterday. He still didn't show up. Um. He's getting paid. I think what what we say fourteen eight, eight hundred and fifty. Yeah. Oh well, eight hundred fifty two well, per game. Week. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that, he he's throwing that out there. You know, he he's not going to get that this week. Um. If if he's not there. Um. And offensive linemen aren't happy, and a lot of them spoke out about this. And that's kind of like the surprising thing about this is a lot of players hold out. This is the second year he held out. Um, he's getting paid a lot more than a lot of people that are protecting him. Just outside of him and Ben and, Anto- and Antonio. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that's where the linemen are like, yo, bro, like you're still getting paid. You're not getting your your – Con, you know uh, your your extended contract um but you're still getting paid is is this going to linger long uh, there's rumors his agent has been kind of saying like it might be more than one week yeah um well now, well now why not because i mean correct me if i'm wrong but when is the last time you i mean you're never supposed to talk about your teammates money well you're Ever. not you're, you're not you're not really so, well a lot of times in locker rooms they say they don't count each other's money but they do that's oh, I, I'm not saying they don't count each other's money. Yeah. I'm not saying between each other, you're not. It's not happening. But the fact of just blatantly call, coming out and and really coming after a guy about his pay versus your pay publicly, yeah. yeah. I don't remember that ever happening on the same team. I mean, the most you'll ever hear is somebody complaining about somebody on another team that they think is terrible. Like this guy's getting that money. Yeah. And, and even not, if it is on the same team, it might be like a side comment that they don't really like straight out say the dude's name. It, it's kind of, and it's usually only one player, and it's usually the player that you know we don't like you anyways. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It, it's not really this. So that's is there something deeper going on behind the scenes in the locker room for this to happen? Two straight years. You know, I said before the the show. You know, this is two straight years of holdouts. Two straight years of answering all these questions. Um, and remember, last year too, didn't Le'Veon also have the suspension on top of the holdout? Wasn't he, 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 he? I think he, the he suspension had, was a pre. Uh, I don't remember if that was last year. Was or that previous last year, year or the year before? I think that was a year, that was the year before because last year he had 400 touches. You're not yeah, yeah, touches he, yeah. In 12 he, had, games. he had 400 touches. Um, you know, I look. My thing is this: he wants more money. Um, I know that we spoke on this on on Monday or Tuesday show, um, talking about. Uh, um, you know, he's he's making twenty six million over the last two years. Twenty six. Uh, hold on. Let me see. It was twenty six, twenty six point seven to be exact um, over the last two seasons with with signing this deal and showing up. Yeah. Um, he wants Todd Gurley's contract. Todd Gurley's getting forty five million in guarantees over the life of a four year deal with two with two years of an opt in. Yeah. Um, for twenty nine, twenty twenty point five more. He wants that deal. Todd Gurley at the end of this contract is only going to be 29. Le'Veon Bell right now is turning 27. He's he's 26, yeah. turning 27. Um, and that's getting old for a running back. Yeah, I mean, we've yeah. talked about that. I mean, before, and, yeah. and to Dave's point, he had 400 plus touches last yeah. year. Um, and that was what his agent was saying was basically how you know he can't you know they he they're happy that that Le'Veon's at that level to the point yeah. where he's getting that amount of touches, but. He can't sustain that with the current contract situation. Yep. I get that. And real but, quick, we do got a caller live on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Vegas. This is George. George, what's up? What up? Chilling, man. What's your thoughts, man? Football's back. I know you're a football fan. A little, little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit? Um, nah, man. I was just... Uh... I'm a firm believer that it's going to be the Eagles tonight, and uh, it's going to go. That's an um, easy one for everybody to pick, so I, I hope nobody's wasting their money on the, the Falcons. But, hey, what do I know? Hey, is that an insider pick? 
I, li- I like to think so. Okay. Listen, if you call in every week and you're right every week, in week 15, I'm going to pick your pick. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's start keeping track now, and we'll see. Definitely, man. We'll have George call in every week and give us his uh, his picks. Uh, any other any other thoughts on this season real quick? You there? All right, phone line phone line's dying, so we'll uh get back with him. But uh yeah, I mean he said it's an easy pick for tonight's game. Put Man. your money on the Eagles. Hey, we didn't say it. George said it. George is a caller from Vegas. But uh go ahead, uh, back back to Levy on Bell. Josh. No, I, just, I, I just think that like overall you, anybody you I mean, can't you can't we can move back to the WNBA. Yeah. You you can't continue <laughs> expecting guys to show up and because they know, especially as a running back, your time is limited. So I I I don't understand why why teams turn on on a teammate for notch. I know they he makes you a lot better by showing up, but well, it, it, at the end of the day, your what you're doing right now is you're standing up for your owners more than your teammate. No, no, I, I get that. I get that. But the difference between football and any other sport is we had to kill ourselves in the heat yeah. together for two months. And right. you weren't here. You were mm-hmm. in AC or you were off doing your own workouts to be in shape. So for you to Getting sit paid out a lot more money all of than that, us. and then it's not like he's old. Like, you know what I mean? When it when it comes yeah. down to, like, Brett Favre doing that yeah. Yeah. or somebody that's older, and it's like, well, that fool's old. Like, you know what I mean? he's We know what he's going to give when he gets here. And that, but, those are players who have won Super Bowls. Yeah. Tom Brady could do that every year if he wants. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But Le'Veon Bell, it's like, dude, you did this last year. Now you're doing it again this year. I understand where it comes from. I mean, should, now we can talk about whether you should or you shouldn't. Um, but you know, to, to what we spoke on, on, uh, on the last episode about basically, usually in these situations, the player is either signed or he's traded. Yeah. So this kind of, this kind of animosity is usually kind of flushed out by the time the season gets here. Yeah. Dave, Dave shifted me a couple minutes back, but I, I, we were talking, I wasn't going to say anything, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's, it just is what it is. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, you know. I get it. Do you do you at least get it? Do you get where the anger comes from? I, I, I get where the anger comes from, but the anger should be private, kind of closed doors. The private. fact that the fact yeah. that a whole bunch of teammates are just out saying, I mean, maybe it tells you Le'Veon Bell must not. He must not be a good dude. He's John Wall. And, and, and with that being yeah, said, exactly. he's John Wall. And with that being said, it is he took the bait. <laughs> is he is he ever going to play for the Steelers again, or do they just look for a trade? I don't know how you come back from this. Because if you come back, let let's say if you are going to hold out even more games, let's say you don't want to come back till week three or four. Um, does that does that force you to just trade him? Because it's not going to be good. The longer he waits, the worse it's going to be for him to be able to come back with the team. True, but remember, back in the day, we have precedent for this at the same position. Remember the one year Emmett Smith held mm-hmm. out through the first two games. They lost the first two games, and he Emmett got, got paid. Money. He got his Except money. the yeah. difference was none of his teammates were against him. His teammates, the teammates have already turned on Le'Veon how, Bell. How That's many, a huge how, difference. How many Super Bowls did they won at that point? I believe it was one. Yeah, they just yeah, hey, they, look, they you just, just, won just, that just one is one. You just won your ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, better, yeah. you better get bring that man back. Well, yeah. it's not Le'Veon Bell's fault that Tom Brady has the keys to the city of Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Steve. I, th- I think that uh, in Le'Veon Bell's defense. You want your money. You just saw Rodgers get paid. You saw Gurley get paid. Everybody get Kirk paid. Cousins got paid. I mean, exactly. everybody's getting paid. And at, at a rate now where it seems like something is changing in the NFL where people are starting to get guaranteed money. So where's my money? Where's my exactly? Where is my money? So on, on one hand, I understand him saying that. And the same breath, though, you have a team who, like they said, they've been outside in the heat. They've been practicing. They've been going at it. They've been they've been basically showing up to work Every twelve day. hour days yeah. for the last two months, and yeah. you've been sitting at home on the couch saying Just you need more money when you tea. make more money than all of us already. Oh, yeah. So so did Aaron Donald's teammates though. It only and they weren't they didn't have a problem with it. It only it only takes a minute for somebody to get upset and they get sick of walking out of practice talking to these reporters who constantly say, so where's Le'Veon Bell? Do you know anything about Le'Veon Bell? When is Bell showing up? Where's Bell? And then finally somebody just, just, they, they frustrated. 
So they they say that, and it's hot. And, but 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 you know, but, <laughs> hey, but look at it from know? from a whole different player perspective, though. Khalil Mack got traded, and the teammates didn't. His former teammates on the Raiders didn't say bad things about Khalil Mack. They're yeah. pissed at the organization, right? And, and so and, it's I I. I well, mean, you uh, no, have to true. figure there's there's bad hey. feelings towards this guy in that room but, because nobody's going to fault you in such a short term profession for getting your money, and right. for some for whatever reason the whole team yeah, no because even on even, him. even even the, <laughs> even the Ben even Big yeah. Ben was yeah. saying like he didn't go in but he was basically like we're he gave he gave the normal quarterback talk of we're we're playing with who's here so James Connors which here, that's then, how everybody should have been yeah I mean um but but like he said. And the fact that it happened so fast, it, but it didn't. That's that's my whole thing. No, it, this no, is, this I, is two no, no. Years. I'm ta- I'm talking about the players jumping on it yeah. week, week yeah, before yeah, week it, one starts, right. putting it out in the public. That's but, but that's yeah, fast to me. Well, but I mean, look, is is he here? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, at, at what point? At what point does is it not too fast? I just far? don't think because listen, there, there's a time when these all these other players are going to have contracts coming up, right? Yeah. So. They don't want the same thing happening to them where they're thrown under the bus. So that's why I'm like, there has to be something else going yeah, on. No, no, I you, feel you, like you there don't, probably is. He's and bad, and he's listen, bad in that room. listen, in, in the locker room, you guys can say whatever you want to each other about him, whatever the case is. You can call him up, cuss him out, text him, cuss him out, do whatever you want. When it hits public, that's just bad for your team in general. E- well, even, even if it's a bad guy in the locker room, unless you're really trying to get rid of him, where where you're saying that to say we want him traded, we don't want him part of the team anymore. Then you go out publicly to say that. But like like Dave said, Khalil Mack held out and they were sad. Did you see Carr's tweet after he, he got sad. traded? No, he was, like he like they upset. were upset, upset that that happened. You know what I'm saying? Upset. So th- that's pretty much the same scenario with totally different outcomes from the teammates. Again, well, two straight years. It, I, I, but like I said, I, Two straight I, years, I don't think same how, questions. They however, keep franchising the guy too, though. But exactly. Understood. And there's multiple players who who have these issues who get franchised every year and they wait and wait and wait. No, but never back to back years. The only other person was Adam Vinatieri and 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 Kirk Cousins. Those are only that two people franchised that are, multiple years. Yes, no, back, no, back to back years. Those are only two times it's ever happened. Really? Yes. It's since they started having the punitive damages of okay. oh, you back, you you, tra- well, you, yes, you since, franchise since me they again. Started, since they oh, started, well, now yeah. I have to get paid. You know, this many yeah, more yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. Right. Since, like, since they started that, they, they, they had, used to they happen all the time. That. Guys yeah. were getting franchised every year. Okay. But I, I don't know. I, I I agree with I agree with him wanting his money. I think Bell should get his money um, because as as short term as your career will be in the NFL versus the lifetime effects you will have. I mean, I, I will never fault a player for holding out, but there is definitely something going on when your teammates are like, dude, come on, it's time to come back to work. Maybe they know that, hey, <laughs> you're not going to get any more money, man. It's either this or just leave. I think they want, they've just been in that position for Lord knows how many years now where they've been a playoff team and they can't get over that hump. Mm. And to have this as There's another distraction, yeah. when you're a lineman and you're the grunt of the team, when you're the one making those holes, when you're taking a hit every single play. For that guy. For that guy. For that guy. And that guy won't show up. I mean, I think you got the right to say something. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me. I don't think that – I will never say that, yeah, they should just go public and make basically like make family issues public issues. But at the same time, like I, I can't really fault them when this is the second year in a row it's happened. And it's kind of like, you know what? We, we sick of it, you know? So if he doesn't want to be here, yeah, well, if he doesn't want to be here, let he him go. Should, he should, he they, shouldn't be But here. now at this point, it, they have to be done with him. You can't come back from this. But I mean, but how do you trade a malcontent? If he gets to the next spot. He's talented enough. You, you, you can I'm, make it work. I, no, <laughs> Somebody's definitely but, taking him. Yeah. No, no, yeah. someone's definitely taking him. But uh, the, And guess the Steelers, what? Somebody the Steelers, will sign him too, Steelers, you know what I'm saying? But the Steelers have said they're not rescinding the, the, the franchise tag. So because yeah. like you know it's not like they oh, okay what are we gonna do with this fourteen million now nothing everyone's gone so we're not rescinding the tag yeah and to trade him no one wants to take him as a flight risk and give up two first round picks or whatever the the crazy amount that the Steelers are gonna want so you're kind of just in a stuck situation yeah mm-hmm. on on all sides everyone's stuck and I feel like Dave to your point you you say you can't come back from this I feel like you can if you show up on week two. Uh, you know, take the franchise tag money that, that that's already on the table. You can make it up. Have a big game on week two. Rush for 150 yards. You're back. You know what I'm saying? I I, uh, I think, you know, 
deal with locker room stuff, but still be professional on the field. I think it could be done. But it, it, it uh, you know, to your point too, are those offensive linemen going to really be trying to block for you if they don't want you there? Oh, they're going to block. Look, if if All Willie, right. if Willie it, Beeman it, can get been, the Sharks it's been to happened block before. for him again, it's been you know. it, it's happened before yeah. where where offensive linemen will not block and, and you know let someone go by to to get their quarterback or their running back hit. Well, if, if, it, look, if they if, have some issues, if, if you're doing that, then you know. Don't not, worry about somebody else's money. Your money. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying for a whole game. I'm saying for a couple plays. Oh sure, let him get cracked. Yeah. He's all right. Well, yeah. He gonna he gonna have a couple bad quarters. Us on three. Like that. Yeah. Us on three. He gonna have a bad couple. A bad couple series. Trust me. <laughs> he might get lit up on a sweep one. <laughs> yeah. All right. And moving on to uh, someone that ended his old out finally. Uh, free safety Earl Thomas, Seattle Seahawks. Uh, had a great defense at one time. Uh, he's the only one left, really. He's alone. Yeah. He's all alone. Uh, Cowboys <laughs> offered a second round pick for him, uh, and they were seriously considering trading him um, until he ended the holdout. How did they not make that deal? Second round pick. Second That's round what pick, I'm but but also in the same conference though. Same that conference, does, doesn't conference doesn't matter. Shh. Listen, right. listen. Seattle is not going to the playoffs this year, most likely. They need to restart. They need draft picks. True. Because you're not. Uh, R- Russell is getting paid. So you can't really pay many other people, you know, and, and that's what made Seattle good is Wilson wasn't getting paid a lot of money so they could pay right. a, a lot of defense, defensive players. Now that he's getting paid, now what, what do you have to do? You have to start from the draft again, and you need to be able to get players there that are really good that you don't have to pay a lot because they're on rookie uh, contracts. Well, plus, I, I, I just don't understand not taking that second-round pick, especially with, with Pete Carroll. His one specialty as a coach is coaching up a secondary. Definitely. Like, even yeah. as these other guys are leaving, they feel pretty confident in the young guys that they've been bringing in. So while Earl Thomas is a great safety, yeah. without question, yeah. I mean... All pro. Hall, sec- Hall of I, Fame level, you think? Uh, oh, yeah. He yeah. will be. He, he's... I'm, I, I don't I don't even think by, like, the low Hall of Fame standards that are out there. I mean, Earl Thomas is... Hall of Fame. That good. He's a Hall of Famer. Flat out. If you ask me that about Richard Sherman, I would say no. But Earl really? Thomas, I'd say yes. Oh, really, yeah. no one. Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman's more talk than than play. Watch wow. him. Watch him get burnt all year in San Francisco. He definitely gonna get nope. burnt now because once you get that uh that Achilles tore up. Yep. No coming back. We'll hey, hey, look, <laughs> Corey Maggette. Corey Maggette just did it in the big three. Look, man. And he had bl- and that was his third time he had blown an Achilles. Simple fact that man is still dunking. He's a walking miracle. Look, it, it, that's my that's exactly what I'm about to say. Miracles happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't saying they don't. There's a... <laughs> but you show me ten people with a tore up Achilles and nine of them ain't what they used to be. Not nine, nine are barely only, walking. There's that one leper who went to Jesus <laughs> and for some reason. <laughs> but but no question, you look at it with Earl Thomas, he's he was the key to that to that entire defense. Yeah. yeah. Top to bottom. He was the key to the corners being better. I mean, he he made Cam Chancellor get paid. Look, yeah. Look, Wait, what look what like has Cam, Cam Chancellor done? No disrespect to him, but what has he done on any other team? Hmm. Really? Well, did, he didn't. Did he go anywhere else? Yeah. He shut it down, right? I thought he shut it he down. Eventually, shut it down. Where else did he go? I would have to look at it to be honest. I don't oh, remember off the top of my head. I need my intern. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> where where else did Cam Chancellor play? Did he play somewhere else or did he retire? I felt like he retired. I felt like he didn't get it. Get another look. Because yeah. his neck was so bad. You don't have the tablet over there? Mm. No. I'm about, I'm about to look it up right now. No. No, you are right. I, I believe right? he... Because uh... it was the neck. The neck was yeah, really bad, neck, and he, never, and he never came back. That's right. Okay. Okay. I was like, I didn't think yeah. that. That was a mistake on my part. No, you're good. I, I think I was thinking of their other corner, not not Cam Chancellor. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're talking. So they... It's... I think Earl Thomas is the key there. I, I don't... But I would still... I would still have traded him for a second round pick. <laughs> Especially no... I mean, they're not... They're not really going to do much, and and maybe they do have hopes to, to you know. Yeah, they they're not not this year. And and maybe they're looking at it like we lost so many people already. Like we have to keep Gotta somebody reload. around. Well, that's true too. But and, but a second round pick's a high pick. True for for a player that you know Spe- obviously he was holding out, so he didn't necessarily want to be there. Yeah. Um, Cowboys could definitely use him. Well, but that'd be a big pickup for them. But Dallas, you know, it, a second round pick, and then you're picking from someone that could be a ten win team or could be a five win team. No, no, no. I that's more di- to the five. Di- no, but do you see what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. that could be that could be a good pick or it could be a great pick. Yeah. So 
you know, when you're, it's not like you were trading him to the Rams. Right. And I mean, I guess there's really no fault in keeping a Hall of Famer, like face of the franchise type of, yeah. type of guy. You on know? defense too, because they don't yeah. have, who who else do, who else can you really They've name let everybody else go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And uh, sticking with Seattle, um, the one-handed player got drafted. Shaquem Griffin yep. is going to be starting this week. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, KJ Wright still, he has a knee knee injury. So uh, Griffin's getting a start. Uh, good player. The hand, obviously, you know, that's a handicap for a lot of people. But for him, um, you know, he's been playing great in, you know, in college and, and now being a rookie. Um, playing with his brother, correct? Yeah. 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 His uh, twin brother. Out there twin brother. In, in Seattle. Uh, getting a start this week. What do you guys think about that? It's a great story. Man. And what's that do man. just for people that do have like disabilities and stuff like that to see like this did not stop him from pursuing his dream. And now, I mean, he's a starter week one, his rookie year in the NFL. That's a, that's a, that shows you that's a bad dude right there. <laughs> didn't didn't stop him from getting a Nike deal, too, because he's he's uh, he's one of the other pictures up there with uh, with Caps picture. Have you seen, well, have you everyone's seen a picture now. Uh, so. No, but he actually was <laughs> like, he was a real a one. Legit. <laughs> he was a legit one. Nike made his yeah, picture. Nike, yeah, Nike. Nike was saying basically like, uh, I forget the exact phrase, but it was something to the effect of um, no one believed you would yeah. be, you know, an NFL player except you. Yeah. And then just do it. And and that just goes yeah. to show you can do anything. You have to believe in yourself. You can't worry about what other people say. Yeah. Because we've seen that a million times. People are going to put you down. And a lot of people will put you down because they don't, want to see you succeed over them. I mean, there's jealousy in this world. Let's face it. Uh, people give you excuses why you can't do something yeah. and will never motivate you and, and give you the reasons why you can. So sometimes you have to dig within yourself and get around the people that actually do have your back and care um, and, and go for it. I mean, listen, he doesn't have a hand, but dude's a, dude's a beast, man. I, I, yeah. I was watching his combine and everything. And I mean, Dude is a legit he's, beast. He's, he's a bad dude. And but and Jason Pierre Paul showed you can play with one hand. Yeah. Yeah. You just had yeah. to go right you there. You gotta take a year off. Had to, had to I go was right I was there. thinking it, but he said it. So <laughs> listen, it was coming I up. Mean, we we knew yeah, that was it coming was, up. It it I think it, every fourth of July I put the picture of his hand up on social <laughs> yeah, media. I greatly appreciate that every yeah. time too. We all love seeing that. Highlighted my day. <laughs> I think I think it shows obviously like the heart of a person means so much more than anything anybody can tell you or will try to put on you or they'll try to limit you. And I'm pretty sure his brother kept him motivated. You know, his brother having a twin brother who's doing the all the thing. same things. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's going to be in your ear too. Like, Hey, don't let these other people talking crazy be in your ear. So who you surround yourself with is very important, but what you believe about yourself is more important and beyond all the belief and the fuzzy wuzzy heart stuff, he got up and did the work. Yep. I mean, you don't just wake up one day and can run that fast or or that uh or be that strong. I mean, this guy is um he's pro he's he's earned his spot. Nobody gave it to him, is my point. Yeah. So yeah, good luck to him. Oh yeah, you yeah, they yeah. put you out there to play football week yeah. one <laughs> for, for a feel good story. Especially not with one hand. And yo, we yeah. got a caller live on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Desiree. You know where I'm calling from. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and uh, it is about 6.20 right how, now how in, in had, Philly, Desiree? so you're probably not sober. <laughs> oh, no, she's definitely not sober, and she's getting pulled over. Uh, I am calculating and getting ready for this afternoon. That's all I can say. Afternoon? It's, it's, night, it's, 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 night, it's night time. It's night over there. It's night time. Yeah, I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm ready for this night game. You sure? All right. Who do you, who do you think is going to win the game tonight? Don't ask me nonsense questions, Juan. Don't ask me any nonsense questions. You know who's going to win this game tonight. Guaranteed. 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 You want to put a bet on that? A basketball bet? Oh Lord. Are we still putting basketball bets? I can't finish you on the court. You won't even show up for that one. Hey. So whatever. <laughs> Whatever you put your little heart desire. No, I, I like tacos. Listen, <laughs> I, I I picked Philly anyway, so I'm not I'm not gonna bet against myself. I, I did as you well, Desiree. Pick? I picked them as well. You pick Thank you, Josh. I don't know if I want to pick, but I I appreciate Josh's pick. It's it's under contest, <laughs> but it I, it was still a pick. 
<laughs> I mean, there was only two teams to pick from. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what bird do you like better, an eagle or a falcon? I, I kind of like the eagle. It's the American bird. That's right. Uh, Falcons oh, are a little Lord. scarier. You get some There's a better reason why to pick it, but we'll go into that another time. So I wanted to chime in. I didn't think I'm gonna, I thought the show was going to be later, so I never had time to chime in, but it's early, so. I predict the yeah. score. 2 p.m. every Thursday be, for a year. Uh, but it wasn't just me. It was later. <laughs> it, it has been. We, we, we have some later ones, too. <laughs> Thank you. And sometimes so we're just later because Josh doesn't show up. <laughs> that's never happened. It's uh, never been the don't case. Don't do Josh like that. Thank you, Desiree. Desiree got my back. Only because you picked your team. <laughs> no. I'm Team Josh. Anyhow, <laughs> the prediction for tonight's game, I want to say I'm going 21-14. Only off of error, but 21-14. That's today's, that's today's uh, numbers. That's not bad. That's a, that's a realistic score. Most foul, most Eagles fans are like, you know, 44 40, blowout. 42 <laughs> to 10. <laughs> I, I, I call it because preseason didn't get, I didn't get the stuff that I, I didn't get what I needed for preseason, and so I just nobody did. I'm nobody just does. Being That's like <laughs> <laughs> I almost said, I almost compared it to something I should know, but I won't. All right, Desiree, thanks for calling in, and yo, have fun out there. Don't party too hard. I will. I just need to make sure I get home so I can go back to work. Yes, yeah, uh, you definitely should do that. Definitely get home. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right. All right. Bye, Des. Yo, pray for Desiree. <laughs> <laughs> Prayers for Desiree. She, she's tore up already at 6 o'clock before <laughs> game time. Uh, I hope she finds her way to the stadium. Uh, yeah, so uh, moving on from Griffin, that is a dope, uh, you know, just thing that's being done there. Uh, so, yeah, I think we all picked Seattle to be last in that division or, or second to last at least. 40, I think 49ers I, one, Rams two. I, no. <laughs> no, none of us picked the 49ers one. No, I, I didn't even, even you didn't. I didn't even. But I, I still got faith in them being number one. I, I think that uh, I, I think they're still better than the Cardinals. Yeah, they're better than the Cardinals. Yeah, yeah than I, the I Cardinals. think so. Too. I think the Cardinals are going to be pretty bad. Who's their quarterback? Bradford. It's Bradford. It's Bradford. But it'll be Rosen now? coming up, yeah. and, then a, and then a dash of Rosen. I, 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 I personally, I think Rosen is the best quarterback that came out of this year's draft. So I think they got a, I think they got a nice deal there. Darnold looks okay. I don't. Why I don't do you hate? Why Darnold. do you hate your? Real quick, Dave. Why do you hate your team? Why do you hate your quarterback? Oh, why do I hate my team? Am you, I? You oh, pick. Well, you pick them for to be three and, three 13. and thirteen. You just don't like the name Josh. Just, just, uh, yeah, just be honest about it. it. I, mean, I see. I see. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, a yeah, hatred yeah, yeah, for yeah, Josh yeah, is in this get room. Get a better name. It's a hatred. We, for when Josh. you saw him drafted, like, he's going to be late for everything. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, wow. Josh Project Neon Allen. That's yeah. how we heard his name called. <laughs> well, no, I, I didn't compare the two because we all saw his racist stuff in his childhood. So Jeez. there's also <laughs> that. He but was 15. First, first off, and listen, wow. I understand the talent around him is not that great, but to be at around a 50. Percent completion percentage at Wyoming when you're throwing against teams like UNLV during the season. Oh, UNLV is tough. Shots fired. But I mean, but I'm just saying, it's not like it's not like he's out there facing Alabama and Auburn's defenses and, True. and going fair. 50. Yeah. Fair. You know, I I don't have any belief in that. If you look at them, they have one good unit on the whole team. Their secondary is good and young. Their front seven is bad. Yeah. Their offensive line is bad. Yeah. Their quarterback situation is atrocious. Uh, LaShawn McCoy, we still don't know if he's going to be having a suspension coming up or not. That's still to be determined. How is that to be <laughs> determined receiving on core, game night? <laughs> That's terrible NFL. There. That's Re- horrible. Receiving core, bad. They are bad. That is a bad football team. You cannot tell me anything different. The fact that they made the playoffs, while a nice story, as I said many times last year, they were not a playoff team. Their point differential was the worst point differential of any playoff team ever. Really? Ever. Yes. Wow. Did they that. were they because here's what happened they squeaked by people like barely by miracles and then got or cracked. they got blown out <laughs> <laughs> it was it was like no middle ground it was and, like and it, there was it, there were some teams that I can't remember who it was that lost the last game of the season for them to even barely make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, you saw yeah. the comedy when they played yeah. the Bengals in the preseason. They gave Andy Dalton a standing ovation because Andy Dalton had that great game. <laughs> That's the right. That was, that, was what that, was, that was what it was. <laughs> yeah. That's and, what wow. it was. They were and, donating money to him. and Yeah, because yeah, well, he just was having a baby. Well, no, they, they donated money to his charity. Right? Like a lot. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. it was the charity. Yeah, thought, they, they lit it, it up the... a lot for his charity. No, the people of Buffalo, they, they love the Bills. Don't get me wrong, but it's... 
That's a bad football team. You can't look at that team and say that they're anything but really, really bad. They're one of the worst mm. teams in the league. There's no question about it. I mm. don't see where a lot of these wins wow. are coming. The Jets are getting better. I think the Dolphins are also bad. Uh, the Patriots, while not as good as they used to be, are definitely better than they are. And then you start looking at it. Now they have the schedule the schedule of a playoff team for a team that ain't that good. It's a really <laughs> bad combination. Wow. Fair. Well, Killing I, it. I, I, they're, they're ranked 32 out of 32 NFL teams right now. Well, so. ex- explain. I mean, the Bills. Okay, Nathan Peterman ranking? is their starting quarterback. That That's horrible. Uh, the ranking of life. <laughs> On the James Winston. Bills, They're on the James Winston in this scale. I can't imagine any. This is USA Today power rankings. Oh, I mean, I can look mic. up a few other ones, but, uh, but I can't I, imagine them being far from that. What I mean, what what can you point at outside of like Tredavious White being a good young guy in the secondary and their secondary being young and good? What else can you point to on that team? You still have Gilmore, right? No, no, you don't. Nope, nope. Don't <laughs> have Gilmore. On the All right, don't yeah. Have... Let's let's move on. We're talking about the worst team in the NFL. <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna uh, take take. Five games this week and, and do some quick picks oh. uh, for some of the top five games this week. I will start. We already we already gave you Atlanta and Philly. Um, San Francisco at Minnesota. I'm picking San Francisco. Jimmy G stays <laughs> undefeated against your boy, Josh. No. I actually, and you know what? As much as I want that to happen. I also want you to lose, so then you won't wow. have to be able to say that anymore. You're, you're not being so, professional, so Josh. So I'm like, I'm like, if, like you're I'm taking like, personal tru- shots. Be I'm professional. Tru- I'm truthfully very much torn. Like I literally was like, oh, that's a dope. I lose either way. You lose either way. <laughs> either Kirk, Kirk looks great or Jimmy G looks great, and, and I'll shut up. I mean, I know you guys want me to shut up. I've been t- listen. 49ers have not lost a football game <laughs> till Sunday since November. Till Sunday, they're, they're not losing. So you're picking the Vikings, one hundred percent. With no McKinnon against that defense, Jimmy G already has not a great touchdown. And I'll be honest, ratio. I don't even know who our backup running back is. Uh, Steve, who you got? I'm talking taking, to the mic. Talking to the mic. I'm the the mic nine, is your friend, I'm Steve. Take the Niners. Don't even don't on the road. Talk, let's not talk about it anymore. Just Niners. Next question. <laughs> wow! In, in, in like, Minnesota even, against a good team, and Josh, you still haven't made a pick yet. Like, What's your defense look like? Decent. It's a lot better than defense, it was. Defense is solid. A is it better. solid, or are you just being? No, it's a lot better than it was last year. Which ain't saying much. Kirk's like, gonna throw two picks. Whether those two picks are backbreakers or inconsequential, that's what I still have to choose from. So he, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the it. Niners. Say it. But that's that's really what I'm betting crazy. against is Kirk but Cousins. Like I have no belief, I have no faith at all. Because in, in because I, I feel like I feel like the like one Kirk looked bad and it, Kirk looked like Kirk in preseason and uh, and so the only and so the other reason that I don't like Kirk and and all that uh, my niece's husband he's from Minnesota is a huge huge Vikings fan okay. so we had this huge blow up over like. Kirk's going to show you. And I was like, no, he's going to show you. Show you yeah. <laughs> oh, just, so... <laughs> just to follow up on a quick point there earlier, Matt Breda is the 49ers starting running back. Who? Exactly. Hey, Come as well. on, Quad. Might as well be you me. had all I'm... preseason. The Redskins have five running backs and oh, all well, are oh, trash. Well, speaking of the Redskins, his backup is Alfred Morris. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. Hey. You be all right. Alfred, Alfred doing shows to people. Wow. All right. I stay with uh, Next game, we're going to go <laughs> New York Giants versus Jacksonville. I think this is going to – in New York. Jacksonville going to crack them. That's going to be really bad. I don't know if it's going to be really bad. That's going to be really bad. I don't know. Beckham, Beckham's back. He's healthy-ish. Saquon Barkley. Listen, I'm telling you, Saquon. I mean, that's that's Saquon my Barkley obvious is real. that's my obvious rookie of the year. I'm not even. I mean, I I wanted him all last year. Uh, I was a little upset that Jimmy G won some games at the end of the year just for the fact that it killed our uh, chance to get him. But Saquon Barkley no, he's has a chance to be one of the best running backs in the league starting this year. I think I he's going to get a lot of touches. Um, that's going to free up. They haven't had good running backs lately, so that's going to free up. Tiki. True. Well, true. That's a long time ago. Long they time. they, no, did, they no, didn't have they didn't have Tiki no. with, with Beckham, so... Now you got a, a, a all pro wide receiver and and a potential superstar running back. But what you what you didn't mention, Quan, is their line is 
trash. Their line is really bad. Really but, bad. But you have to remember, more Barkley runs are less Eli throws. No, so no, that's very, a win on both. Very a win on true. Both counts. But if he's if he's if they if they're stacking the box because the line's so bad and they can't even get Odell out on some long throws, it's gonna be bad for everybody. I I just have no idea. I mean, they're they're the Giants' defense is young and up and coming. They're not bad. Um, but I just I'm just thinking of like Calais Campbell against that line and all the other monsters they have all over that that mm-hmm. Jacksonville defense. Many bad things. It just their defense is good. And and they have, they have a good defense. And they have a corner who can straight up on Beckham. Yeah. So and they're gonna get in a fight. So and, I'm I'm it's okay. I mean he's he's been talking mad junk already. Yeah, Beckham said he doesn't he's gonna Oh, I got my money, but he's gonna be just yakking. Yeah, 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 not yeah, when it yeah, starts, yeah, not when game time starts. Oh it's not gonna goodness. matter. Ooh. Um I, I'm I'm kind of a man. I wanna see the Giants win, to be honest. I wanna see them have a good year. I, oh. I think they really you know, struggled. I, I like Barkley a lot, and that's kind of like why I'm saying this because I really do like Barkley a lot. Um, I never want the Giants to succeed ever. No, wow. Yeah. See, I, I'm, Super Bowl I'm, I'm twenty-five cool will Giants. never die to me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I mean, they, they beat my Niners a lot, so I should hate them more. But uh, I like hating them when they're good. I think that's the thing with the Giants. I want them to be good. For so me to be able to hate them, you know what I'm saying? The same thing with you can't hate a bad team. Exactly, it's hard. It's hard. Oh no, you, you yeah. can't. You <laughs> no, can't. you laugh yeah. at a bad team. There's no, a, you can hate a bad team. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, you can. All right, <laughs> who's your pick? Uh, the Jags. The Jags. Uh, both of these quarterbacks are uh, fairly terrible, in my opinion, and uh, I think Jags got better defense. I don't think their defense got that bad in the offense. Once I mean, a, in the off season, I think one quarterback's worse than the other. I, I, yeah, I, I, I think I Bortles is going to have a really bad year. To you're going to have to, yeah. Oh, he has no weapons. I, yeah, I think Bortles is going to have a really bad year. Other than Fournette, Bortles is going to surprise you. <laughs> He'll surprise me by having a really bad year. He won't surprise me at all. I have no clue who he's throwing to. Yeah, I don't either. I didn't. I didn't know he was throwing to ever. Whenever he threw the ball, it, yeah. it just don't they don't have. They don't have his, rec- that's his receivers: DJ Chark, uh, Keelan Cole, Rashard Green. Marquise Lee. Marquise Lee is out for the year. Jaden Mickens. Dante Moncrief. Dante Moncrief is good. Tevion Smith. Dede Westbrook. Their their receiving core is bad. Dede Westbrook might be okay, though. Out of Oklahoma. How how do you go that far without signing somebody? I just don't get that. I don't understand. They got a lot of money tied up on that defense. That's how. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Fair. And and that's that's what got them all their success last year. And Probably get them success this they, year. They should have. They should have won that AFC title game. Yes, yeah. they should. Hmm. Yeah. They All should. right. Uh, next huh? game, we're gonna we're gonna take the Dallas Cowboys at the Carolina Panthers. I think this is gonna be a really good game, really fun game to watch. I love watching the Cowboys lose. Yes. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Correct. Sunday at one twenty-five p.m. West Coast time. That's oh, right. The Absolutely. Carolina Panthers. I think you're going to smash the Cowboys. I Listen, I think every year we're going to see Dak Prescott. I, I think we're going to see more and more of his flaws every year. I don't think he's as good as he was his rookie year, and I think that's going to keep showing. Um, I'm, I'm taking Carolina. I'm taking Carolina to handle them, to be honest. But is he worse, or is their amazing line worse? Well, the line has, the line has definitely gotten their lines in the trouble chain. yeah for sure and that their line was the that offensive line was the entire strength of that team. Their, their lines made players look great <laughs> they, they they made a lot of players look great for a lot of years and, yeah. and now with them being de- uh, diminished you're gonna start seeing a lot more things happen How, how's elliot gonna you know talking about lines how's elliot gonna handle that yeah um be, being back there uh who, who do you got for this josh uh i i mean i've got some cowboy fans on my feed but uh, they they know my disdain and real hate for them. So I have to I, look. I still feel like uh, the Cowboys struggle with mobile quarterbacks. Um, Cam is probably the last like elite level mobile quarterback left in the league. Um, that's a real dual threat outside of the new Lamar Jackson. But uh, I I think the Panthers win. Panthers are at home. I think the Panthers have something to prove. Yeah. Um, you know, I think Cam starts to get back a little bit to where he was three years ago, but he. He still can't get out of his own way, so it's it's tough. It's a tough call. Anything with Cam is always very hard to hard to decipher. All right, Steve, who you got? Panthers. It's 
the, the Cowboys uh, don't change anything unless they absolutely have to. Um, they didn't change quarterbacks until no matter how bad Romo did or didn't do, um, they wouldn't change that, that rookie season, um, of, uh, I can't, well, I can't remember anybody's name today. Dak Prescott. That, yeah. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Any day really. <laughs> but, but Dak Prescott's rookie season caught, I think the league off guard, it was a, a, a game that the Cowboys hadn't played before, but they tried to do that same thing the next season, which the rest of the league caught up, made their adjustments and it didn't work for him. Had it didn't have much to do with Ezekiel Elliott not being there. He would have been stopped too, as good as he is. Well, I think year one had a lot to do with Ezekiel Elliott being there. Well, of that, course, that, and, that's part of it. But all the all the only reason the QB looked good was because he constantly threw short passes. Exactly. I mean, he's, a one, he's a one read guy. The league figured that out, and he's that's all he can do. And and once the league figured that out, he he hasn't developed a second read or a third read. Um, Ezekiel Elliott is he is who he is, and I mean, good, bad, or indifferent. If there's nobody blocking for him, he's not going anywhere. And Jerry Jones isn't making any adjustments. He's selling jerseys, so he's happy. So Cowboys are going to lose. They're going to have a winning record, be close to making the playoffs, maybe make the first round and be eliminated. Same thing they've done for the last 30 years. They're not making um, the playoffs. America's nope. team. Probably not. They're probably not, not the even make the playoffs. Yeah, but I'm, put, I'm, put, I'm putting Giants and, and obviously Philly ahead of them. No. In that division. Giants are definitely not ahead of the Cowboys. All right. Eh, I don't wow. know. I'm surprise you. I would actually agree with you on that one. I think the, wow. I think the Cowboys are going to lose a lot this year. I don't I don't know what a lot is, but a lot. They might lose ten games, and so. they'll be on TV every week. So Dave, probably Dave who you got? <laughs> uh, it, it feels bad that all these seem so easy to me, but Panthers. I just I don't even I don't even see a, a Cowboys win there. Yeah. All right. Uh, next game we will go to Sunday night. Big game. Aaron Rodgers is back against the Bears' brand new defense. Uh, Green Bay and the Bears in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Sunday night game. This is going to be a tough game. We're, I, I think we're going to start seeing what the Bears are made of. Uh, we, we've talked about it before. Trubisky is good. We don't know who what he's going to be yet. Is he just a solid quarterback, or is he somebody that could actually be you know a longtime starter in this league? Well, plus they're running in that run-pass option that they used for Foles with him now. So a lot yeah. of people are very high on his capabilities with that because he is, he is mobile. He's not the most accurate quarterback, but yeah, it gives him a lot more hope. I'm actually, t- I got to take green Bay at home. I have to take green Bay. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is, you know, I mean, I know he came back last year for a game, I think to try to get them in the playoffs, but he's officially back healthy. Um, he's my MVP for the year. So I got to take him in week one. Uh, Josh, who you got? Uh, a. a Ron continues to be a bad man. So, uh, yeah, I mean, and, and I don't think that, uh, uh, I don't think that Khalil Mack is ready yet in terms of his preparation with that defense. Um, that's a lot to throw out of, throw at him in, in week one, one. Week, yeah. Um, yeah. especially to get Aaron Rodgers right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. You like, he's still learning his secondary's names. So, yeah. um, yeah, I I think I think I don't I don't think it's gonna be a blowout by any means. I think the Bears probably will surprise. It'll be a good people. game, yeah. Um, but uh, but I think I think the Packers win by like five or six. Okay, Steve. I think Aaron Rodgers is about to show y'all what a hundred and thirty-four million dollars look like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this game gonna be close. I. I, I don't believe in the Bears. I mean, okay, they got Khalil Mack. Ooh, nah, bro. Yeah, what? Three weeks. <laughs> they got, three they days got ago? more than just I mean, that though. Their their defense got I mean, stacked. Yeah, they, they were already decent defense last year. They, I mean, they got Roquan Smith in the draft. Yeah, he's good. He's, I mean, that that's a player I really wanted. Um, he got picked right before the 49ers and Raiders pick, but uh, I just don't see it all clicking by Sunday night listen. or Sunday. I, and my thing with with Khalil Mack, yeah, yeah, he does need to know the, the 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 defense and stuff like that. But at the same time, he knows what he has to no, do, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Football he has is to, football. He has to I go mean, after that quarterback and try to knock him down. He knows his position. I mean, he knows. And what he to he's do. one of the best at it. But, so, yeah, I just yeah, don't I, see. I mean, he's all right. will, will, will Aaron will Aaron get sacked once or twice, maybe? But I don't see that stopping them as a whole. Okay, mentally I mean, though, you get you get hit pretty hard from Khalil Mack coming off. Uh, uh, injury like you had mentally that mm-hmm. could do something to you I mean it is Aaron Rodgers he's mentally yeah. tougher than most quarterbacks but that could still if, if you feel a little pain when you get slammed to the ground in that same area you just yeah, but I don't think busted. I think I think that's the difference though between like some of these elite quarterbacks where I mean he he's gonna have to really get blasted for that to happen and 
I mean, getting sacked and getting blasted is, you know, two different things. So especially in the I mean, NFL today, you can't really blast anybody. Yeah. So I mean, but I mean it's possible that's possible, but I mean, so are a lot of other things. Like the 49ers going undefeated this season. That's possible. But I mean Probably. It, it, it happens won't, in Madden. It won't happen. Probably. I mean, it's just some things are just less likely to happen than others. And <laughs> All I right, guess, Dave, who who you, know, you got on this game? <laughs> Uh, one, once again, this doesn't seem that difficult. The The Bears aren't the only people that added people on defense. They, you had Muhammad Wilkerson go in there for, for Green Bay. Uh, Aaron Rodgers back, fully healthy. Uh, I, I'm not a Trubisky believer at this point. I'm I'm not certainly saying it's a blowout, but I, I feel like Green Bay will have this game in hand yeah. throughout. Uh, the Bears' offense is definitely a weak link. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then uh, I I don't. This week might be easy. This might be one of those weeks where you at you know you bet on a lot of games because nice. I, I mean, need, man, you need to hurry but up. But then again, it's the first week of the season, and you just don't know. You don't know. It's there's true. A lot, there's a lot you still you got, don't know. You got uh, Washington at Arizona. Mm. Um, you got Seattle at Denver. You got the Jets at Detroit on Monday night. The Rams at Oakland on Monday night. Which I hate the Monday night doubleheader to open the season. I don't know why. Oh, I love it. I don't mind I, that. I, I, I wish they did that every week. Mm. I don't know about doing it every week, but maybe like maybe. Once I don't know or twice why I don't like year. it, but I just I, I don't love know. it. I, yeah. I, I, you know what I love the most? I love the whoever their second crew the second is. Second booth. That's always so terrible. <laughs> that, like, they, they always that, really are really it's bad. It's people that just met Jaws. like that day. <laughs> Last year they actually were really good, and they had a female do it for the first time, so it was actually oh, nice. really good. Uh, no, she was good. They also had Rex Ryan doing it. He was oh, awful. <laughs> Rex, I don't know why he's ever on TV. This isn't honest. even the JV team that's doing it. It's the freshman squad that's wow. out there. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's really no, bad. They, they, they introduced those people on their way into the stadium. It's like, hey, have you met before? Oh, hey, we're doing this game. All right, right on. Good to meet you. Are you one of the producers? Oh, no, I'm hosting the show with you. Yeah. <laughs> I would feel better if they moved a Thursday game to Monday and made it a doubleheader on Monday instead of having a oh game my God. on Thursday. Or just move it to Sunday. Like that would make it, or, or that. I, I like it being Get on rid of those Thursday games. I hate Thursday yeah. games. It will never happen. It's too much yeah, money. I don't I like mind it. Thursday the first week out of the gate. But no, the after, first week's after fine. That, it yeah, the, fir- yeah. the first week is the, the f- kickoff yeah. game, but the first yeah, every week, no. The first week is fine. Thanksgiving is fine. Like if Christmas happens to be on a Thursday, whatever. You know what I mean? But to have it every week, Week on a Thursday yeah. is yeah I don't I don't like that and please yeah. get rid of those daggone all 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 one color uniforms oh th- those aren't reserved for Thursdays anymore now teams oh. can wear them whenever they want to they loosened up a little bit on the oh, thank uniforms you. this year because the Redskins wearing that all gold please don't let that happen in real yeah. life <laughs> I do it on ugly. Madden every now and again but it's like oh oh god those are so bad <laughs> <laughs> all right moving on to Josh's favorite sport oh WNBA I'm joking baseball. <laughs> Playoffs are coming. Uh, oh, your two favorite teams are playing tonight, by the way. No, just the Cubs. Washington versus the Cubs. Yeah. Uh, Shohei, Shohei Otani. I got his name right, right? Good job. That's it. That's it. Needs Tommy John surgery um, and, and then, hit two home runs last still night. Still hitting home runs. Hit two home runs last night after. I thought he wasn't going to play anymore after they announced, like, yeah, he needs Tommy John surgery. It's like, that's a serious surgery. Like, He's just not pitching anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's. But I mean, if, if for those that don't know and don't watch baseball like none of us do, except Josh, he you know he pi- he come on, really? Do you watch it? Yes. When's the last time you watched the game? Full game. Uh, well, one through nine. I last night, but uh, <laughs> last week. Had a boy. That's a long time ago. No. Uh, but he's a pitcher and a hitter. Yeah. Yes, he's been, well. So. He's the first pitcher since Babe Ruth to hit uh, 15 home runs and pitch 50 innings. Like. That's but to announce you need this surgery, which usually keeps you out for a long time. No, a year. You lose a full, a full, a full year. year and sometimes two. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And to go out there and be like, okay, well, here's two home runs. You know, I mean, what do you think about that? And is it something where, like, he might try to get some other opinions in his own country? Well, I, do, I do, even... do, do you trust the the... You know? Maybe, but it, really, it's his own country that put him put this on him put because on the, him. Okay. the Japanese Japan. are well known to throw their pitchers' arms off. So when you yeah. get these, when you get hot shot pitchers over from Japan, you know that lifespan is really limited because they throw over yeah. there. Like here, you're babied. There, 
Oh, you, you can, can pitch. pitch inning. Yeah, you <laughs> pitch yeah. innings. You can hit. You can you can hit a spot. It's how it used to be when yeah. we were growing up watching baseball, yes. where like pitchers pitchers Pitch. were out there eating yeah. innings. Pitchers that, you, pitch. You pitch there. Yeah. He and and also the big thing about Shohei was he was like a Randy Johnson type. He can throw over a hundred plus miles an hour. So for him to have this surgery and to be a power pitcher, that's even that's even worse. He doesn't have a very like you know unorthodox delivery, yeah. but. He he's still throwing 100 plus miles an hour, so he's gonna need he's gonna be out. He's he would be out literally until probably not next season, but the season after, because it's like why yeah. bring him back in September? Yeah, yeah, you know I mean to pitch in three games. And you also have to now, think now, about now, real quick, why they ahead. even keep it? Like, like, why isn't he sat right now? Well, this is what not, I was. Yeah, yeah. it's not 100. percent It's not 100. percent They said that he because because uh, actually the intern I keep talking about Liam. Uh, he had, when we went to the game, um, because he was actually Shohei was supposed to be pitching yeah. that night, but he was on the DL when we were in Texas, and um, he was saying that I hope he doesn't have to have Tommy John's. They haven't said anything yet because he's an Angels fan. Yeah, and so when uh, when it you know when he came back and he looked okay, it was like oh okay good. But when that came out the other day, I I felt really bad for him. So there's and especially in baseball when you talk about Tommy John or any kind of like rotator cuff and. Mm. Things like that that have to do with you moving your arm to throw the pitch. There's needing a surgery and wanting a surgery. There are some, there have been some baseball players who got Tommy John surgery when they didn't need it. Correct. But it was inevitable that they would need it later. Eventually. Okay, yeah. So it's better to have this surgery when you're 25 yeah. as opposed to 30. 30. You it's know over. what I mean? So yeah. he may be in that spot where, you know what, you're going to have to have Tommy John surgery. He may Eventually. not right. He may not need it for another year or two years, but they're saying, you know what, you need it. Let's just let's just go ahead and plan to do it now or sooner than later. But in the meantime, the motion of swinging a bat, of swinging a bat versus throwing a ball is two different things. So it's, it doesn't really one doesn't really affect the other. Like yeah. I can't do anything with my shoulder because of my rotator cuff right now, yeah. but I can still bench press. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and and this, it, this, yeah. is, this is the reason why he picked the team in the AL versus the NL because he doesn't have to play the field. He can be yeah. the DH and just right. go hit and then just trot around the bases and go sit back down. He don't got to throw the ball anywhere. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, yeah, he's not, he's not impacting his arm by throwing right. from the field. He doesn't have to throw. He can yeah, just hit, hit. hitting is a different motion. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Man, that's crazy. And uh, playoffs are coming up soon. Uh, actually, less than a month away, I think. I think uh, the beginning of October, yeah. pretty much the first, yeah, the first, first, first week. week. First week of October. Um, October 2nd is the first wild card game. Happy birthday to me. So uh, I won't be watching baseball. Um, so it starts in October. Uh, that's when I'm going to be excited. Oh. <laughs> that's when I'm going to be excited. <laughs> Oakland A's have uh, been killing it. They have. For a team that wasn't expected to do much at all, I think they have 80 something wins. Um, your Cubs are still number one. Number NL. one in, in the NL. Uh, Red Sox are still. They're going to get a hun their hundred wins. Yeah. Yes. Um, his Yankees might too. Oh God. Mm. Possibly. Yankee supporter. And Aaron Judge still isn't isn't back yet, right? Yeah. No, he's still in the deal. Um, and, and will he be back in time for the playoffs? That's debatable. We that, talked about it on Tuesday. Yeah, there's every indication that that he will be back. Yeah. They said he's very close to being cleared. He, he should he should get a game or two before the you know being before the playoffs start. Yeah. Um. So there are still some matchups. You know, it's it's not set. The playoffs aren't set yet. But you know, I think it's pretty close to being set. Yeah. Uh. In in the I mean, AL, there, there are many in the AL more so. Uh, you're really down to just a couple races. Like in the NL, the NL West is Super a dog tight. fight. Very yeah. wide open. And uh, you got the Rockies. Uh, Dodgers are a game and a half back. Arizona's two games back. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. crazy close there. The AL West has also been very tough too. So the the West both ways have really been the the dominant races. And the other ones, I mean, you're you're seeing more so teams that are you're going to get teams in the playoffs. They're pretty much kind of the close to uh, set. both the Cubs and the Red Sox are probably going to have to go through um, someone in their own division though in that first round. Um, the Red Sox. Uh, they're in line to possibly play the Yankees in the first round, and then the Cubs are. It doesn't look like anybody's gonna probably catch the uh, the the Cardinals or um, or the Brewers. So, which is crazy because the beginning yeah. of the of the season, you know, they got a uh, uh, Giancarlo Stanton, and so everybody was just thinking like Yankees are gonna be the best team in the league by far. 
Yeah. Um, especially Yankee fans. Um, but I mean, Red Sox have, you know, they they've been on top pretty much the whole year. Yeah. Yeah. They they very good team, a lot of depth in a lot of places. Whereas the Yankees pitching, starting pitching in particular, has been that's been bad. very questionable. <laughs> How are those Cardinals doing, Steve? Uh, amazingly, beyond all the beef and everything else, they are four and a half games back, but only a half game behind the Brewers, so they right there. Um, I did not expect them to even be this close, honestly. Start so the so they're, they're in position for a wild card. Yeah, yeah both, yeah, both yeah. of them are the wild card. Yeah. Yeah. They, they're, they would be in the wild card game together. Yeah. So yeah. They, they essentially be playing for home field for that first that first game. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... Let's just say my beard yeah. feels safe. It things feels are very uh, safe. <laughs> things are looking all right. So we'll see. Yeah, because the Dodgers, the Dodgers are going to have to win the division. They have to win their division. Yeah, like whoever, uh, whoever I mean, doesn't. Uh, who's who's in the, who's in the lead in that one? Is it still uh, the, the Rockies are? The Rockies are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rockies are seventy-seven and sixty-two. I mean, Dodgers are seventy-six and, and sixty-four. Yep. So then the Brewers and Cardinals are, are seventy-nine. And sixty two and seventy eight and so it's not it's not over it's not no, it's over all very close. yeah it's all it's all pretty I mean it's still like fifty games left no three weeks is, like yeah twenty like twenty fifty it's the same <laughs> how many how many total games are in a baseball season I really don't know one sixty two one sixty yeah. wow. one sixty seven why is eighty one on the road and eighty one at home oh my gosh they play two full NBA seasons yes yeah, yeah. they do they do well why? most most of the players play <laughs> they say why. Yeah. Why? I don't. I, I have no <laughs> idea. I, I I always felt like if they literally shortened it to like eighty games, even if they made it a hundred games, more people would watch because the games would have more meaning. But the problem with would, that in any sport, adding games, subtracting games, games, you have records that have been around for too long. Yeah. To be able to cut a baseball yeah. season, they will in half. never I subtract agree. games. And, and I mean, that was the that and was the how much money baseball. when you cut out. Correct. Fifty percent of the games. I know they're games, never going to, but to get people like to make the games. This is why I don't watch baseball until about two weeks from now, like see, that week or so before for, the playoffs. For as many for as many as you there are, there's still millions of me. Oh, of course. I that's mean, the whole. That's the whole reason. If you have a halfway okay. decent team, millions. The stadiums <laughs> are the, are full. They all you know show up I mean? to like, the games late. But see, here's here's yeah. the the one problem with that, and it's a multi- multitude <laughs> of issues with baseball. Yeah. Is yes, there are millions of you, but a lot of you are getting old. No, and very dying. true. So very the young true. generations coming very up. Very true. They don't watch baseball. No, very true. At all. Yeah. But they especially do still, they don't market players like still, they should. We still go to my Cub games though. My Cub games be packed. Yeah, like you you can I mean, look certain, you can look any day of the year and like we'll still be at at least eighty percent because Cubs, sure. Cubs are a top five brand in in a Major League Baseball though, one hundred percent. So and when you when you're talking about Milwaukee, when you're talking about yeah. Oakland, o- Oakland's playing really well. They talked about this on Let the Ball Bounce every Monday. I mean Tuesday six p.m. Saturday two p.m. right here on Gorilla Cross Radio. But they talked about that how Oakland is killing it. Most of their fans probably have no idea. Yeah, they don't Th- their care. stadium's empty. Yep, moving to Vegas. Oh jeez. Okay. They just, we just going to take everything from Oakland? I mean, Yo, Oakland the, people Oakland will start showing ch- up. They will start showing up killing people just straight up. Wow. I'm, hey, I'm not just everyone you know. from Oakland kills. Hey, look, they do when you start stealing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Gentrification. But you- <laughs> it, it's it's a tough market. It's the, it's a tough spot. They play in a multi-use arena which doesn't even exist anymore <laughs> outside wow. of there. It's 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 a terrible place to get in and out of. I remember from living in the Bay Area. It's it it was bad when I finally saw it in tough. person. It was it was it was pretty and, bad. And, and talking about Oakland and real you quick, saw it renovated. T- talking about Oakland real quick, I do want to jump back to the NFL for a second because uh, there was an article that was put out last night saying that uh, about Trump, the city. <laughs> there's a, there's an article every three minutes about Trump. Uh, it's usually on Steve's page. No, uh, <laughs> no, it's not. Or Todd's, but different. <laughs> it depend, depends on the view. <laughs> wow. um, but but there was an article saying that that Oakland is suing the Raiders and it might push them out of Oakland after this season. Wow. And Lord knows where they can play though. Uh, well, Who I, knows? I, they, they would. They would have. That's that's well no that okay so the reason I keep saying that is because when when they talked about moving years ago I mean they, they talked about moving they, them all they, the way to San Antonio they, they had talked about basically uh, playing some games I don't think they would do that at, for a year when they're relocating over here already they would have to do something out here it would have to be Sam Boyd Stadium which they would have to do something to that impossible people would die 
You can <laughs> it'd be crazy. The, N- the NFL has already <laughs> made it. Up. The NFL has already made it. They'll they'll play them wow. anywhere else. I, I guarantee oh, you, man. it will not be Bishop yeah. Gorman. It will not be at Sam Boyd. I, I, I said they'll, play him at Gorman. Yeah. No, Gorman no, Stadium is better than Sam Boyd. I, I will tell you right now, sure. there is a zero point zero percent chance. They'll put them at Stanford Stadium. They'll put them someplace yeah, else. Yeah, they'll put them in there somewhere. There is no way. They can play Arena Football and T-Mobile. They'll play in They would do that before they would do Sam Boyd. Yeah. Sam Boyd, not possible. Not it's, possible. It's just too hot. They'd have to have the games at one it's, it's You can't just, put them anywhere near L.A. You can't tease L.A. It's a dump. Oh, well, you can't but, tease L.A. But there's, there's no more room for L.A. The L.A. has two teams now, so now uh, they got three. I'm, no one knows the Chargers are there. Fresno. Watch, you'll 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 find out magically. The league's like the mafia. Magically, somebody will come up with some money with to, a bag. To, somebody will come yeah. with exactly. Somebody will come up with a bag to like have home games in Santa Clara if it comes down to it. It's it's just that would be. Interesting. They're not they're not going to be at Sam Boyd. They they will not be here. Well, until and the that thing is, the is Raiders finished. don't want to do that either. They want to you know like enter Vegas. In the new arena, they don't want to come in and play like bootleg, yeah, uh, games same, in a bootleg yeah, arena. Same, same boy. Yeah, so they're I, they're building up for two years from now, coming out here with the new arena. Everything launches like that because Vegas doesn't launch anything bootleg style, you know. Well, at least they yeah, try to. I, I, like yeah. I said, I'm I'm gonna <laughs> like call Stan, I'm gonna call Stanford Stadium. That would be interesting. Okay, just yeah. just to throw it out there, it's big enough. <laughs> I mean, it's old, but that's what it is. Yeah. I I, wow. I I I also I was thinking about it more. I can't see the 49ers allowing them to play there. Yeah, no, hey, they I, they I tried to sh- they tried to share the stadium with them. Yeah, but the 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 Raiders wanted to do it for free. Well, and and the Raiders also wanted more Surprise. Uh, more parking lot space. I was reading an article the other day, and I was like, where at at um at the uh, they, the, they, they don't were, care the, about the parking stadium. lot space in Vegas. That's what it was funny. It was ironic. wow because the, um when when uh, that was one of the things that kind of uh, the Raiders had pushed back was that. Did you uh, see the model of of the stadium yeah. out here? Like, mm-hmm. it's employee parking only. Oh no, it's it one hundred percent, and like, yeah. which, which is which disgusting. Is, yeah. And, yeah, and for those of you not in Vegas listening to the show, watching the show, there's no. Room. It, it's disgusting to me as a Vegas native that the casinos are running everything, even with the sports teams, because they put it on the strip, yep, right behind the strip for a reason. They want everyone that goes to the games. To go right back to the casinos, and that's where you'll have to park too. So, and coming from a local, why didn't the casinos just pay for everything instead of taxing other people? Because you're taxing all, all your customers because you can to pay for the stadium. Yep, and mm-hmm. you can. That's, that's and, the only reason. And and you're making them come right back and park. You yep. know, you're gonna to pay, pay forty dollars to, to park. To park. Yeah, what are you gonna do? There's no We're tailgating. We're gonna have to tailgate away from the stadium. That's true, but I, I I do think the one thing I think one I think a lot of people will be parking on the strip. I mean, it's just there's not really a lot of ways around it. But all the warehouse space and things that you see all around that right area, there, yeah. you're going to see those people start to come up. Like, so do you really want to bus people over from uh, Blue Diamond, or how about you throw us some money and we will knock all of this down and we will turn move it into a parking else. lot? <laughs> Man, look, it's yeah. it's every everywhere I go when I go to like a game or like basketball. Uh, baseball, whatever, and, and you, their stadium is near their downtown area. You have to pay to park. So thinking about this, you're going to pay anywhere from 20, 30 bucks usually to park in somebody's lot during the game. So that's not a shock to most people. What games are it's, you going to? It's annoying to us being that we have to park at a casino and then walk two miles. Like that's the annoying part because it's hot. Look, yeah, well, they'll have where, shuttles where these, taking you over there games, too. Yeah, but then they're probably going to tax you for the shuttle as well. Well, but do I you mean, really want to be sitting there so, on a shuttle bus full of other people? But this is my point. It ruins it ruins the experience and makes it very annoying for the people who are basically the home team. You see, like, yeah. for, or you for can the take tourists. a lift, uh, uh, lift code, and that, speak live radio, and that's what you end up. That's for you the local that surge pricing. That becomes oh, the oh. thing you want to do, but then you're paying surge pricing. You see, so that's why you walk away from ground zero. I mean, I it's teach hey, everyone. Hey, 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 come on. I, I, hey. T- I teach everyone. <laughs> Don't take my money away. But it's it's still <laughs> they gotta learn. Re- regardless, there shouldn't be a trick on where do I park for the game. Like you there's know, gonna you be a lot of tricks. Like there. that's what that's what's annoying is oh where's the parking lot for the stadium? Oh, it's over here on this this street that street. You know, 
that that's what I would love to tell people, or that's what I would love to find out when I'm trying to go to a Raiders game. Not, oh, well, it's probably going to be best to park at Mandalay Bay, but if you can't park there, just park at the Chevron and then get an Uber. And no. then just, and it's just like, dude, like, All you gotta I do just want to go see a football is game, park man. Park at Hooters and walk. Well, done. Yeah, bro, but that's a long, a long walk, walk, bro. <laughs> hey, but you're, I love how you're you acting like you're free. the only, you're the first person that I thought about that. Oh, Check no, this out. Don't no. tell anybody. Look, yeah. hey, <laughs> like, hey, look. You can, okay. I can be first, I can be last, but I'm still going to be now, parking now, over here for now, free. Now, if you could park at Hooters for free, why would you park at Hooters when you could park at Tropicana, which is closer for free yeah, also? Yeah, it's right, it's right yeah, there. Yeah, but how both many parking spots do they have? Do you think on a game day you'll be parking anywhere within three miles for free? Exactly. Oh, no, you can still park at Hooters and and. Okay, well, wait till the game starts. Yeah, when, this, well, this is two years from when now. When the game oh, starts. Oh, don't worry. If it Look, if it's between that and three miles, I don't live that far from the stadium. I can just start huffy. And <laughs> Listen, the best thing to do is what uh, I do, park at Wild Wild West Casino, yep. park at the Orleans, Yep. Take a Uber, cost yep. five bucks. Yep. You, you get it, it pulled up right to the front. You don't have to walk until anywhere. Until ten thousand other people trying to be cheap like us are doing the exact same thing. One hundred percent. This smart. is what I'm saying. I mean, you could say that, but it worked for me all all season yeah, for T-Mobile. Yeah, because ten thousand people ain't trying to do the same. Not thing. Not ten thousand. It, it's going to be way more people at the Raiders game than the Golden Knights Well, game. let me tell you something, Steve. That's true. We're not going to be able to afford Raider tickets anyways. <laughs> there, there's probably going to be 100 tickets that you could actually buy. You're probably right. And so we're not going shame. to Raider games. I'm not even arguing with you. But our might... our biggest in is building this sports network up. And in two years, <laughs> yeah. we're in there For free. with cameras For and free. media passes. So, so. if you're, not if even you're cameras, listening right now, we're in there. <laughs> And you care about us. I feel like my John Gruden views will be preventing that from happening. <laughs> you'll go. You guys will have to cut me. No, I'm saying you'll have to cut me loose because they would never let me anywhere near 100 yards of that clown. They're not, they're not letting you near him? <laughs> we'll, we'll give you a disguise. Oh, man. All right. Nike outrage. Let's talk about it real quick. I don't want to be on this too much because I think social media handled that for us for the next year. Yeah, they yeah. Uh, So the Nike act came out uh, at the end of our show on Monday, actually. Uh, Josh had pulled it up. Uh, right after it happened. Uh, so the Nike ad came out, has Colin Kaepernick on it. Uh, what does it say? What's the exact words? Uh, Something about sacrifice. Uh, oh, oh, um, crap. Hold on. It's not important. Yeah. But it's, yeah. well, it, it is because I have a it point says, to make uh, with believe, that. believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Okay, and so a lot of right. people wanted to put up, for some reason, Pat Tillman. He sacrificed. First of all, he got shot by friendly fire, which we don't like talking about. But, how come with Colin Kaepernick, we all sacrifice stuff in life? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's right. things you sacrifice. We're all sacrificing time right now, right? To be on the radio show, we're not getting paid to do this. So that's a sacrifice. Um, Hold up, man. <laughs> Slide to you, your this checks fuck. in the mail next year. <laughs> so, and I kept seeing these memes, people throwing up these military dudes that got their arms blown off and all this stuff, which respect to them for for doing what they did. But that doesn't mean. There's not different levels of sacrifice. You don't right. have to. That's the ultimate sacrifice. It's a big sacrifice. It, it's you know the. Well, I mean to wait to lay down your life. That is the ultimate sacrifice. I, I have nothing right. else I can give. <laughs> I gave you my life. Right. Yeah. It's but a little it, different. But it but it doesn't mean that other people it, aren't but, sacrificing things every single day. Colin, yes, Colin yes, Kaepernick their, sacrificed exactly. his for career. Family, they wanted that, him to. Right. They wanted him to shut up yeah. and stand. And he and he he, he refused to do it. Yeah. And he. Going back to the Buffalo Bills, he's a better player than Peterman. I'm sorry. Uh, but what are you sorry about? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm not saying sorry to you, Dave. I'm just saying sorry to the people that don't think he should be in the NFL at all. He's a better player than a lot of starting quarterbacks. He's well, not the greatest quarterback. He's good. He had some. He's not great. His well, he you should know, be a backup on, on, on somebody's team. On my post, on my post, uh, I didn't realize he had a 90 quarterback rating his last year. He had a 90 played, quarterback he rating. Played well. Um, he only played in what twelve games, yeah, and he still had over three thousand yards. He and, should have a job and had a whole, like. And and we had started talking about this on my post, Quan. Like, who were his receivers? Like, Crabtree was gone at that point. Yeah, and at that point, everybody he was had, gone. He at that had point, no yeah. one else. So the simple fact he threw for three thousand yards and still ran and had touchdowns at all was still a testament. Yeah, and and, and the fact that people still don't understand, like he is not against America. The whole protest, and I'm just trying to reiterate this to, to you guys that keep trying to change what it means. Nikes. The, the, the kneeling yeah. is not a protest 
for the military or against America. Or against it's the flag. against police shooting unarmed black men. That's what the whole protest is. They chose that time to do it. First of all, he wasn't even trying to get attention doing it. But now to get the attention and, and people saying it, it's not changing anything. Yes, it is. People are talking about it all the time. There's things that have been done. We had uh, Brandon Marshall's brother Marcus on the show the other day, and, and he's talked with the Denver Police Department, and, and there's been changes made there yep. because of these things. And so they might not be outrageous changes, but if a little bit of change happens, that's change, and that will eventually grow to be something bigger. Um, True, but uh, you the, the thing is you can have, you actually have the change in certain things, and but there's no change in the conversation, basically. There's a whole Fox News Trump side that is not going to hear anything. A, a word. That's, whatsoever. Yeah. So it's like you can bring up all these well-thought-out points, but— They don't want to hear it. But they don't want to hear it. But at the same time, two things for this. One, Nike knows what they're doing. Super smart company. $163 million in value in the first three days of the uh, since, since the ad was, uh, okay. was launched. But ne- never forget, one— only 50% of Nike's business is, is the U.S. Yeah. Mm. Two, the people who are saying they are boycotting Nike, these aren't the people standing in line to get the new LeBron colorways. Yeah. Well, nobody's standing it, in line for LeBron colorways, but Jordan, I got you. But you, whichever way. I, I don't know, man. Those LeBron sell pretty well. <laughs> hey, they there. Like, <laughs> I know you guys you hate, cutting, but the man shoes. And you guys cutting up your, your uh, backward swoosh from the swap meet, yeah. uh, Nike clothes, and, and burning shoes on your feet. That didn't yeah. happen. So <laughs> this is on their feet. That so this happen. is the thing: is the people who are mad about this don't really matter. When you start seeing athletes or CEOs of of companies that basically contribute to athletes throwing a fit about these things publicly, then there's well, something to worry about. Well, did you see that um, one of the uh, one of the schools that's sponsored by Nike, one of the football schools, are going to start to um, to like cover their Nike swoosh? So yeah, a very small school. I okay. didn't see who it was so when, I, when I saw the alert. Like, yeah, when NAIA I saw level okay, school. when I saw the alert, it said a school. It didn't say which one because yeah, I like, tried Alabama. to expand it. it, it, it but yeah. this is it but but this is oh, my okay. point. They All can right. they can cover the swoosh with duct tape or whatever, but it's still there. And it's not going anywhere. And the deal that they still have with that company is still there. Nike caters to athletes. It is an athletic brand. Now, granted, when a company grows, school teachers start wearing it. The yeah. dude who ain't never did some dudes got on some Nike shorts as his pajamas and he ain't never dribbled a basketball in his life. Yeah, the, you're going to have those customers. But the number one customer base is the pro athlete and the amateur athlete and the dude going to the park who wants to be an athlete for the next two hours. And like Dave said, China, so, Europe. Yeah. I mean, that's, so we, we need to get out of our U.S. minds and think we're the only ones that matter. Exactly. That's why I'm saying the whole time. It's like when you're looking at the people who are outraged by this. You ain't buying Nikes anyway. And, right. And, 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 and another thing, too, brands, if your name is out there being talked about three days in a row, all day, every day, it's good for your brand if it's negative or positive. You think H&M did million. bad? You think Dove, Dove is mad that, that their name was all <laughs> over the place? You think Pepsi? Like, Well, that's a little bit different. It's not different. Man, Be- listen, Pepsi set Michael Jackson's hair on fire, bro, and they still <laughs> here. Okay, a little like, uh, listen, man. As far as, far but, as the but what I'm stuff. saying for the up on that product, man. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a good thing as far as like why they're out there. I'm no, saying no, no, I for the I, brand. Yeah, no, you're I, out there, and, and people forget. Here, here's the other thing too: the outrage. Everything lasts three days in social media. I keep trying seven, to tell people this. Seven of you really, really messing up. Mm, rarely, I, I, the main outrage sure. lasts three days all the time. There's going to be something new yeah. on, on the fourth day. Um, so I'm waiting for something to happen today. Uh, <laughs> Burt Reynolds. <laughs> well, just remember, the, the, the football season starts today. That's not oh, yeah, it's, 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 Exactly. Yeah. NFL season starts today. People are going to start caring about things that are more related to the NFL But then the season. Nike ad, Nike bought space yeah, yeah. for the game today. Exactly. But they know because they know what they're doing. Exactly. The Nike, that, Nike is obviously like a very smart brand. It yeah, stands Nike, for victory. <laughs> yeah. They, they already know what they're doing. They they are they are playing this up on their own end. Don't think that they're doing this for an altruistic reason yeah. or to be nice. This is Nike. Nike is a big yeah. company. Big companies don't do things like this because they really believe in something. They do something like this for a business gain. Yeah. At yeah. the end of the day, I know people keep bringing up, oh, they lost this much money. At the, it's like 
trust me, this is a long-term, well-thought-out strategy by an incredibly smart yeah. and ruthless company that will go after anybody else. It, like I said, you a week before or, or the week the NFL starts correct. back up. Correct. The NFL, which by the way, they're the uniform sponsor for. Yeah. The NBA, yeah. they're the uniform sponsor for. Almost every one of the best college football teams yeah. and basketball yeah. teams, they're the uniform sponsor for. Top top soccer clubs all around the world, they're the sponsor for. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't going nowhere. That's it. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, like, it's you can burn all the Nikes you want, and then you'll buy some more to burn. And some so more. there was I mean, the photo yeah. up of Colin Kaepernick saying that, the <laughs> black and white photo. So then social media took to being funny for a little bit, and then the people just don't know when to stop with the jokes. And that's when you can tell the people who are funny and are funny because some people are still, hey, if you want to throw your Nikes away, I'm a size 10 and a half. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Like, oh, that's so original. Thanks for posting that today. The 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 juvenile yeah. one was pretty good, though. Listen, some of these were good. They just, they're outplayed. So one of my favorite memes was the Floyd Mayweather one. That one, no, the one, yeah, the one. Mike that, Tyson. The Floyd one was good. The Floyd one, because 50, did 50 make it? I don't know. He it looked 50, like he made it. 50 didn't. posted no. it, and I was yeah. weak. Do you think 50, 50 definitely made posted it? it? He posted well, well, no, it. No, no, but did you see the one? You that, think did 50 you see, knows how to use any did you, Photoshop? Did you see, uh, did you see um, uh, Floyd's rebuttal with Floyd, yes. like, throwing, throwing, like. Not a, not anywhere near Talking funny. about the herpes. That was funny. That was no. still pretty good. I didn't, I didn't see that. The Chris uh, Benoit one was rough. Oh, I didn't see that. that. See, there was a lot. There was a lot. It was basically the same exact tagline, but with Chris Benoit's picture instead. (laughs) I've stopped stopped, reading them. That's the thing is they become overkill. It's it's probably a million of them out by Uh, now. You guys are just, you guys are too old. I got things to do, uh, man. No, when people post <laughs> them when they think it's brand new, that that's my oh, problem. Like you're not funny. funny. Everyone already posted that. It's, it's not funny anymore. You called out funny. Kareem for that. Uh, yeah, Kareem posted it in the Let the Ball Bounce group, and it's yeah. like, hey, hey, bro, good morning. Ten other people. I know have. you were at graveyard, but uh, <laughs> ten other people already put this up in this Dang. same group. <laughs> this this was wrong with America. You guys wow. can't even laugh at the joke anymore. No, we laughed at the laugh joke. Laugh at the joke. The Josh, first time are you we heard st- it, wait, we wait, laughed. wait, wait, wait. Laugh at the joke. <laughs> laugh and move on. How can you keep laughing at the same joke when other people are telling the same joke and it's not as funny anymore? It, it still it may it may not give me the ha ha anymore, but it's like yeah, that was still funny. That was still a good joke. It's not when it was already told by someone funny, and then you're trying to tell it. Like like the 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 size of your shoes. Like okay, we get it. Like we already saw that joke. You're no one's original. Come up with some an original. No, joke. no, we want to start talking about nobody being original. That's a different conversation. But it's it's still a joke. Like let, not let three it. days later, it's old. Straight out of see, I, straight I out of your I mom. Can't, like I can't, even, I can't even post my stuff now. See now you do made it. now you done made me feel post bad it on about time. It. We, you know, we, there's we, time we, we for social media. Saved you from something you shouldn't have been posting anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. What see, were you gonna post? Look, look, but see, look, it's gonna be Kirk Cousins. No, no. I promise you, if I would have posted it, I probably would have still gotten 150 likes. People would be like, "That's funny," because people don't see everything, Quan. Like, you, like people see it at their own time. So, like, it might be old to you. But you have you a big family it. that really cares about your feelings. That's why you. Oh, get 250 this guy, likes. this guy. No, I just got a lot of followers. But anyway, <laughs> no, oh, no. Wow. I'll uh, say it to the person who reduces the people on their Facebook. No, constantly. popular. No. Like, I care. like, no. The l- listen, listen. I'm kind of listen, a big deal. Listen, <laughs> listen. No, the one, the one, the one with Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding. That one was pretty funny. So you didn't see that one. I posted the Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding when they were taking a knee three years ago. No, that wasn't that wasn't what when it was though. See, like that's what I'm saying. Like just because you didn't see it doesn't mean that I didn't. I may have seen it, but you didn't see it. So I don't know that you didn't see it. Do you see what I'm but saying? But by this point now, it's all three the same days joke. later. They're all. That's the only reason not. the, the it's, Floyd it's one was funny because it was different. Be funny, it's just meant to be. The funny. Floyd one was actually funny. You guys are you guys are too stupid. There's right? funny, and then there's <laughs> no. It, it's well, one of those things like like when you're a kid and and kids are telling jokes, and then the kid just keeps going on and on. It's like okay, yeah, it's not funny, Joey. It, exactly. But if I showed you the exactly. Nancy Kerrigan one right now, you'd it, still laugh. I'll probably still laugh, but I'm saying to keep let it go. Just I'll laugh and move bet. on. Just I'll laugh and move on. You gotta, you gotta make. Okay, let, let me case. see it. Pull it up. I can't pull it up because I'm on live. I'll show you after the show, well, and you'll laugh. He's got, he's got a big social media yeah, following. He, we just heard about that. I've, I've got, got all so the two followers. people still watching right now. Hey, that's huge. <laughs> that's huge. It's big time, man. That's haters. huge. Wow. Haters, haters in the house. Wow. Hatred in their 
blood, Steve. <laughs> hatred in there. I, I promise you. <laughs> Steve's like, why are you bringing me into this? Because, because it's me and Steve. Me. No, it's no, me and Steve versus don't the do, world. Don't do I the black and white. Don't do the black and white. No, it wasn't even on that. Don't try to divide, I already know Dave will shut me down. So Steve's only what I got. No division here, Josh. That's all I've got left. I just catch random hate from y'all all the time. So I'm just enjoying the fact that none of this is directed at me right now. Steve, it's never random. He's a And I promise you, on Monday, I'm going to have a new uh, 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 hit over here on my keys that's going to say from uh, Will Ferrell, from Anchorman, you know which one. I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, that's it's gonna right. be Josh's hit. That's oh, all right. Man, that's, that's I all mean, right. We, we were told. We, I, I, I mean, he I, told us live on the hey, air. I learned hey, my lesson. He told us live on the air. I have to try hey, to live try, my you, life better. Hey. I have a lot of followers. You hashtag, don't, Dave. Hashtag you True. played yourself. <laughs> it, it, don't do it. I played myself. Like don't I said, I'm it. the guy that removes people from Facebook constantly. <laughs> I'm not trying to get more people. Plus, hey, I don't have those mutual friends that that some people do. I delete some. Then others Delete I just, sub. I, Wait, I don't you replace I don't, them with more. No, I they ain't watching. Tr- trust me when I tell you. I look, look. If you they guys, un- if you guys understood how many people don't get through the filter, there's a lot of people that just get how through the filter. It, how could you not get through the filter for oh, seeing who no. gets through the filter? No, trust how, me. What's the criteria trust to not get through? It, 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 look, if I'm going on your page and it looks highly questionable, like, well, like oh, I've already <laughs> seen some mutual no, friends, so no. that ain't true. Some of them, some of them, I'm telling you, some of them for real. Like, oh, they, like they may have, they may have. They may have had All blood. right, listen, we got to move on to the uh, Survivor pick. So, yes. Dave, explain it. Explain how we're going to be playing this. Explain what it is. Instead of fantasy football, we don't want to bore you guys. Correct. And actually, we do have a fantasy football show starting on Gorilla Cross Radio. So, if you like fantasy football, you can get insight and all that. And we'll let you know about that as soon as that's official. So, awesome. go, go ahead, Dave. Survivor pool, basically, a lot of you people out there probably already play it. But it you're basically picking a winner. It's not against the spread even, but you pick that team. So say if you decide you're picking the Patriots week one, you can't use the Patriots again the rest of, after the, rest that, of the season, right? As long as they win. So, so like okay. I said, and usually this is done for money. We usually do things for more nonsense stuff. That stuff's still to, still to be determined, but for, for rebuy type purposes, but maximum probably two on those. Realistically, what you're trying to do is pick a winner, but then you can't use that team again. But if you lose, you're out, right? That's if it. If you lose, you're out. Like yeah, I said, we'll have some. Okay. We'll kind of like right. do a double. I was making sure. We'll kind of like do a double out type thing, and I'm sure we'll probably come up with some embarrassing way to. Uh, I mean, I'd say push-ups, but you're never gonna do them. I did. <laughs> you did 25. If you want to keep, if you want me to keep doing them, I'll keep out of 200. Doing them. That's a low percentage. Man. I did that. See, see, that's twelve see, and a half worry. percent. Don't worry, the hate, the hate doesn't just come to you, brother. It, they, so they anyway, be on my head. anyway, it's it's Steve fun. He doesn't lose bets. He it's just, fun to do. He doesn't it's, know. He doesn't talk about it. Like I said, it's fun to do. It's easy, but there is at a certain level some strategy involved because you have to figure you can't just pick all the teams that are you think are going to be the best teams all the time because once you've used them, you use them. Yeah, and Todd was telling me last year it was kind of easy because people would just pick whoever's playing the Browns. Yeah, it that works. Oh, that is a smart. Yeah, play. That, and that's uh, that's you'll see <laughs> that's a, you'll you'll see in my pick for this week that that's kind of what I'm doing. Somewhat going this against year. Buffalo, <laughs> correct? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. great. Actually, a smart play too. But then, see, we should have kept our strategy to ourselves. But then you'll you'll come to those times where you have so many teams that play against the Browns, and so like come like week eight or week ten. You've already used eight or ten teams, yeah, and now the 10. Browns are playing against like maybe another team that's just as bad. So that's not such a safe pick anymore. Of course. So now it's, you got to pick a real. Well, game. last year there was no such thing so, as just as bad as, as the Browns. Yeah, your well, only <laughs> problem, your only problem with the Browns course, one last yeah. year is the the division teams that they had to play twice. Play twice, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, you were you were good for all you had to do was think three three times out of the year. <laughs> who's the who's the Patsy this week? All right, yeah. so we're going to go ahead and go around the room, and we, we and we do have a. And Steve's been studying for three yeah, hours. Really, like, can I even we, look we, at we, the matchup? We, do we could a... pick the same teams, right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. We do have an outside submission. Todd, Todd put in for the uh, Saints. Uh, Todd is the guy that's here three times a year. Just yeah. in case you guys didn't know, he is on the show. I hope that Todd loses Week One, so we can chastise him. So Todd pick the, pick the Saints, Todd and I need somebody besides me to keep track of this. I will. Uh-oh. I will take Uh-oh. care of that. All right. Um, so Todd Todd's picking the Saints, and they are playing against the. Where are they at? 
they're not playing this week. They got to buy. That, um, is <laughs> that is impossible. That is impossible. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, that's a, that's a very solid pick. That's another good team good to be pick. picking against good a pick. lot this year. And and how many eliminations? How many before we eliminated? One or two losses? We just gonna say one. Just don't lose. Right just one. Don't lose. Just yeah. don't lose. We we don't haven't lose, we haven't baby. determined the we'll figure out the that. embarrassment yeah. yet. All this right. is the Steve Lead Pipe Lock of the week. <laughs> 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 That's the easiest way to look at it. <laughs> so, so we got Todd lock. down for the Saints. Who, who's who's willing to jump in here next? Oh, I, I I don't even have a schedule. I'm looking at it right now. Someone, I know. someone just, get this I man a tablet. It. Well, I I, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and jump in. I, as sad All as technology as for say, Joshua Williams is provided by Quan Five Nine <laughs> and the Gorilla Cross Studio. Yes, yes. yes. As, as as a Bills fan, it's painful to say, but especially since they have a little vengeance in their mind, and it's on the road. I am going to take Baltimore, who I don't even actually like. I'm trying to get rid of a team I don't think is that good in week one. Wow. That's so I'm another, taking that's another smart strategy. Yeah. I'm taking the Baltimore Ravens because I think they're not good, but I think the Bills are definitely worse. As as does Vegas, considering they're like a seven plus point favorite. Yeah. Go, Quan, go. All right. So I am I was gonna I don't want to pick the same team, even though I can. No, you can. <laughs> I know yeah, I you can. can. You know what? I'm actually going to – I'm taking the Steelers over the Browns. And it's in Cleveland, but I'm still – I'm taking the Steelers over the Browns. So, Steelers this week for me. Uh, write that down. Uh, Steve, who you got? Is that working, Josh? The tablet? It is, Okay, I'm cool. I'm trying to get my life. Okay. Hold up. You said, you said the Steelers over the Browns? Yes. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I'm I'm looking at the wrong week. Ooh, I'm glad I did. <laughs> I, was, I was about to be like, wait a minute, bro. Week like, sixteen. Oh. I... <laughs> no, I was. I scrolled into week two on accident. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. Because no, I was I was just no. look I was just looking fantastic. at it. I'll Steve, take it this Steve actually picks a team that's playing against the Patriots. <laughs> Because I was going to I was going to pick the Ravens, but I don't no. want to pick a team that he picked. No, you can though. I, I, don't don't, don't think, let that stop you. And I think I'm about to. I'm gonna have <laughs> the Eagles, because. the Eagles over the Colts. Because like, there's so Steve, many other games the they could are go the other right way. Now. They're playing the Falcons. <laughs> yeah. They're on TV, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens oh, for Week One. That's so Raven. All right, Josh, okay. who you got? No Jeopardy music today. Oh my goodness. Can. This is my first time looking at the stuff. Hey, that's fine. All right. That's okay. We have only, we've only talked about this for a couple weeks. Let's take a music break. This is a Jared Sanders called Get Money. I'm going to take... Shout out to Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> and then he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna do me. He's going to do me like that. That's oh, no. Right. I, I didn't want dead air I'm, on the radio. I'm gonna, <laughs> nope. No pregnant pauses. I respect it. It's all right. Yeah. I, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take Detroit over New York on Monday Night Football. Wow. Ooh. That's a swing. Wow. Oh, the Jets. Okay. Um, yeah. That, hey, that's a good one. Tougher game. It's a good one. It is tougher. Uh, um, but I think I think you're good there. I'll be honest. I think we all move on. I almost took the Rams. I feel nervous but, about yeah. myself. But. No, the, the, I, I don't feel I, I was, not, not I, in Detroit. I think the Rams are very good, and I would like to keep them alive. <laughs> That's exactly for, why I did. I would pick like to them. keep them alive like, for a man, tougher week. I got to save them for later. I feel like there's <laughs> yeah, so they're many, in Oakland. I feel like there's probably the one time where I'll look at the Ravens and feel very confident that I can use them. The, well, I mean, the, my only thing is week one, you still don't know anything. True. No, you don't know anything just, about anybody. I, here's what I do know. I know that Nathan Peterman is terrible, and the Bills do not have a good team. And I know that I don't really like the Ravens' talent, so I figure, let's burn this right now. True. Yeah, you just kind of got to go with a. But you only need sixteen yeah. out of out of thirty two. Leaves Dude. leaves me the Rams and Packers of the world yeah, for, for better for me, better days. This gets hard around week ten, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what? Yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. That's what she said. Because you start seeing some week matchups. 10? <laughs> well, you, well, you start seeing some tough matchups. It wasn't week and ten. The <laughs> she <laughs> didn't say week ten. Uh, exactly. Oh, stupid. I'm not about to say it again. I'm I got your back. To... What'd you say, Steve? Don't worry, no, don't worry about it, Steve. I got your back, brother. Got your back. <sighs> Week 10? <laughs> Gotta wait that long, bro? Man. It's a, it's a rough, rough, it's a rough wow. relationship. That's two and a half months. Wow. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come home right now. Oh, man. Uh, 
don't know how I deal with I mean, that's as good a way as any to end it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna top that. All right, well, oh, we do got one so more segment. Me. All right, we're gonna start with Steve since he got here so early to study. <laughs> He said, yeah, right. what, what time are you going to be at the studio? I'm trying to get there to study. <laughs> I'm trying to do my research. <laughs> <laughs> and I barely got here. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm unfriending everybody making Nike memes. Oh, thank you. It, I'm That's so tired one. of it. I'm just... Uh, I'm going to unfriend like, you if you don't start speaking into that microphone. It was so... It was, it was the first, like, 10 were hilarious. And then it just... It took the fastest dive... Probably I've ever witnessed in my life. In got, your life, <laughs> just got, you never watched Greg went, Luganis. It just went from super funny to super old. You beat me to that. I really, I can't believe it. <laughs> See, that's horrible. I can't believe. It I can't believe. Got Where me. were you at in the eighties during he the Olympics, Steve? I, I know exactly I, who I, Greg I, Luganis was. Yeah, but I'm not I'm, that young. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't want to bring him into this. That's tragic. the thing. <laughs> tragic. Tragic, he I would think. for Never doing mind. what he won gold medals for. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's not but like we're was, insulting him. He was like the greatest diver ever. Speed that diver. wasn't Chinese. Like, was <laughs> I mean, diving is pretty fast, Steve. I don't. I don't think there's. I don't think there's speeds to diving. This well, that that's how terrible this this thing <laughs> went off off course. Is it's not like running the forty. <laughs> You're jumping in water from the air. Well, that's probably the only thing that's. Not as fast as, as bad as these memes went. All right, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Whatever. you're you're done. <laughs> uh, since I want to keep it a checkerboard, uh, go ahead, Dave. Oh wow, <laughs> checkerboard. Uh, I, 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 I've, I, I've still have the same level of hate from a few, from a few days ago. You can't unfriend the same person. You I'm already not... unfriended them. Unless you added them again, <laughs> did you I, add? Did you did add I, did them add to the creep entire, the entire then... Michigan offense? No, I, I, I guess you're right. I, I, I can't. I, I can't do the same. So, I, I will go with with the with Nathan Peterman and the oh. Bills organization. We, wow. wow! Listen, Dave, why Dave unfriends everyone on teams and organizations? <laughs> why? Because it's it's not it's not really Nathan Peterman's fault that he's starting. What's he supposed to say? Like, no, I'm terrible. Don't start me. <laughs> I mean, he could. That would be awesome if if a quarterback did that. Like, well, hey, I'm really not as if, good as if, Josh if, Neon if, Project Allen. Well, he's he's not good either. What about AJ McCarron? He's gone. He probably would have been the starter, right? Uh, I think that was their worry. It's like, hold on, we might if if he's might there, we might AJ have a McCarron. shot to win a game or two. <laughs> yeah. Even though he's not good either. But better than them. But yeah, I'll go with I'll go with Nathan Peterman. But really, by extension, just that Bills talent roster. Yeah. You Bad year. Me. All right, Josh. Completely off. Return to the other side of the checkerboard. I uh, <laughs> such a mess. <laughs> I um, I'm unfriending the Ford Motor Company. Oh. <laughs> wow, Recall wow. of 1.5 million uh, F-150s. Wow. The seatbelt buckle is starting fires. No way. What? How? How, <laughs> How sway? The seat belt man, people buckle. are heavy in the U.S. these the days, man. I'm telling you. The seatbelt buckle is igniting the, the car's carpet, which then can, yes, kill you from inside. T- what? <laughs> who, who figured that out? Did someone die doing this or I, what? I figured it out. Multiple people have to die before there's recall. Yeah, like, so for real. Figured it out. Like, Bike club how, how, how? How? How does this happen? Yeah. How, how does the seat recall? The is there seat like belt. Some sandpaper see, inside of it that's sparking? Excuse me. Excuse me. Two million, two million trucks. What? Seat, Dude, I did not seat, hear that. A seat belt mechanism in the F-150 can ignite and cause insulation and carpets to catch fire. Well, man, if the people, if they just threw their Nikes in there while they were at it, two birds, one stone, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Give up on Ford. Wow. Yeah. yeah. See, that's one of the best unfriendeds I think we've ever had because you you taught us something it's at new the information. same time. There exactly. Because mine is, mine is like from our first topic, you which unfriended. I'm unfriending the offensive linemen and everyone talking for the Pittsburgh Steelers See, for throwing their too. teammate under the bus when it should be private. Like, listen, I said it before. Talk about that stuff in private. You don't go to the media. The media is not your friend in situations like that. They're not there to do anything good for you. 
in those situations. And any chance of him coming back and having a, a relationship with you when you're doing that publicly is, is, is tarnished, you know, and there's going to be a lot of making up to do if you are going to keep him around. Uh, so I'm unfriending them. Don't talk about my money to the public. Uh, private things need to be in a private. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, we are here every Monday, 4 p.m. West Coast time, every Thursday, 2 p.m. West Coast time right here on Gorilla Cross Radio. Uh, make sure you download the Gorilla Cross app. Watch the game tonight. Football is back. Uh, download that app. It's free. Subscribe to us on uh, iTunes, Google Play, anywhere you download podcasts, and on YouTube. And we will be back on Monday, and we might have some uh, live remotes coming up. We're going to be talking about that as they happen. So uh, put your money on the Falcons. I mean, on, on the Eagles. Get money, money, make money, money, money. Get money, money, make money, money, money. Get money, money, make money, money, money. Get money, money, make money, money. Get money, money, make money, 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 money. It's a little different from what I was writing before, dog. I'm versatile like I'm fighting the floor, dog. Figured it was all about the light and the toys, dog. Thought the pen game had the light and the thaw, dog. Uh, then I realized it's not a true place if I ain't buying them all out. A drop in blue faces, everybody plotting all of the bank. Ask Moses, crazy how the whole staff turn into snakes for real. But a dollar I make is for the diapers or the oil change, the windshield, some more wipers or the wife need quality time and the face grab, taking out the trash and supplying the brake pads. Uh, and all that takes a couple precedents, cause the light bill the AC and other elements, but the only way to keep us all in the residence, so I make a 16 have relevance. I gotta get money, get money, money, make money, 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 get money, money, money make money, 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 get money, 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 money. Get money, money Make money, money, money. money. Get money, money, make money, money. Get money, money, make money, 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 money. Get money, money, make money. I tried changing the game, but it never shifted. And chasing a little change, but the check was missing. Try saying to myself, but I never listen. And try praying for the wealth, it's forever distant. So I pin it for whoever can hear. Get a lesson in a couple raps who impact and get a message, yeah. A couple racks to get you a bigger start. But you don't need a dollar when you know you're rich at heart. Accepting people's flaws